Star Report. I'm your host, Star. And we got him. <laughs> we got my nigga Diddy, kids. Yes, we got him. Welcome to the show, all right? Um, the rise and fall of Sean P. Diddy Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy. It's shine time, my nigga, okay? Uh, Troll Babies, good evening. Thank you for disturbing me. I had planned to take a night off. But no, we have to we have to kick a nigga's back, kick a nigga's back in. <laughs> Run, Diddy. Run, girl. Uh, folks, according to TMZ and other sources, Diddy is in Antigua. Oh, he's on the run. Allegedly, he took the boy home. Yeah, took him home after you know uh, alleged abuse and other things. He did what's right. He took the boy home on his private jet, you know, and TMZ has tracked. The, the plane all down there in the Gulf Stream. A salute to that man for doing what's right, but it's too late. It's shine time, okay? All right. Um, wow. Yeah, it was just yesterday. We were at Madison Square Garden, right? We were at Madison Square Garden. Uh, a Pepsi presents P. Diddy and the family. 112, Faith Evans, huh? Total. And you're hot 97 every day. That's my word, right? Oh, my goodness. It has all come crashing down. And, folks, I'm here to tell everything that I know so that I don't get called in uh, the way Lil C's, my nigga, he's going to be called in. Uh, Derek D. Angeletti, he's going to, they're going to drag him in. Derek, I'll fuck with you heavy, my nigga, but uh, you know too much. <laughs> so, babies, good evening. How's the audio? How's the spelling before I start doing too much? Are we okay? Are we okay? We, we've got some talking to do. Kirk Burroughs. Kirk, it's okay. You, you can come out now and finally tell your story. My friend, Kirk Burroughs, former president of Bad Boy. Did he hit Kirk Burroughs over the head with a computer? Pow! Back in the days, this was before laptops, G gave him eight stitches and signed over his 25% of Bad Boy. I'm going there tonight. <laughs> Um, also, uh, with regards to the alleged person who did he, uh, how this all came crashing down, this person did not want to play the game that Usher and his family played once upon a time. Folks, I will be extra messy tonight, extra messy. Um, and, and let me just say with regards to Usher, because I just put his name out there. Once upon a time, Usher had some type of hemorrhoid uh, uh, situation due to the sleepovers. Uh, they took him to a Westchester hospital, you know, and as a result, Usher said on the Howard Stern show once upon a time, he would never let his kids be around Diddy. OK, this is according to Big Gene Deal, who told me this personally. All right. OK, phone lines open right now. We are going to talk that talk this evening. Also, uh, showrunner. Listen, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but, you know, as, as a former landlord and um a person who understands how credit works in this country. Credit. And, and you know, some of you, if you can pay off your mortgage, fine. But Trump and others don't believe in paying off mortgages. Tr the, 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 the bond has been reduced by half in New York, you know, New York State, um, with regards to the civil fraud case. I have to say I told you so. He doesn't want to put the money up. Trump Tower is a 30-year-old building, uh, 40 Wall Street. He doesn't own the building nor the property. He owns a lease. None of that shit is worth uh, the $450 million bond that they are requesting. Are you up to speed? Let's talk about it this evening, all right? Okay. Um, as I said, Diddy, my nigga, yeah, man. That's my guy, man. We, we, we're cooler than cool, but I... I do what I do. He's on the run. He's down there in Antigua. According to TMZ, they tracked the plane. Okay. Uh, it, it landed in uh, v Van Nuys uh, Airport. Damn. And the niggas hightailing it. Huh? I hope everybody's okay. Uh, his kids had the little niggas lock. Had the little <laughs> Had the little niggas in cuffs. Troll babies. What, 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 was that uh, King Combs in, in the steel bracelets? You know, he, he's been living... Of uh, um uh, a life of luxury, maybe the steel bracelets, you know, will bring him down a few notches. I say that respectfully, okay? All right. Um, thank you for your support. You guys have been um emailing me, texting me, and just uh, I really was trying to take the night off. Holy shit! Uh, Terrence, I got your donation. Thank you so much, Mike. 
um, Rondell, Crown. C Crown, I want you on the line early, sir, if you have time. Yeah, the rise and fall. The rise and fall. Puff Daddy. Mm. And, and I can't believe I told that story about Kirk Burroughs. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm on that type of time tonight, okay? Um, phone lines open, as I said. Uh, let me just get set up and situated. Folks, please stop texting me. Uh, this is work. This is not play play time. Some of you who have my, my direct number, do not text me uh, during the show. Call in like everybody else and send in a fucking super chat, all right? Let's get to the lines early. Area code 212, or you have to speed. Homeland Security ran down on Diddy today. Yes, no? 212. Yes, no, maybe, please. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Um, so how are you today? Um, I had called you before we were talking about um Wendy one time. So Lord I don't remember, girl. I'm almost <laughs> sixty. I don't remember talking to you, but where do you want to start? Let's go. If Wendy was on the radio or on T V, oh my God. But um I'm talking with Diddy <laughs> Puffy. Um you remember when um, the son, Justin, got arrested and Misa, she was saying, too, that she's going to let... Ed Isn't it I'll be sure, son, Justin? That's, that's uh, I'll be sure, son. No, that's Misa's son. Okay. Well, I, I, I'll be sure, son, is... is um, what is his name? Quincy, that's his name. Okay, okay. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I forget these, these little black kids uh, mixed up who's, who, who've got different fathers <laughs> and a baby mama. Pardon me. Come on, let's go. I'm on one. Let's yes. Go. So, yeah, you said she said when he got arrested that time that it's going down, she's going to expose everything, too. Okay. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with the, everything going down for Diddy. And then I heard, too, that um, young Miami, she had to sell oh. all her stuff <laughs> because I want to see her in the steel bracelets. <laughs> has, has, has big academics gone in on her yet? Somebody send me a link. Come on, girl. Yeah. On. <laughs> so it's going to town, and I can't wait to see it all happen, okay? All of them is running. Mm. Diddy, Russell, all of them is running, yeah. okay? So it is going down. And know, stay with me. Stay with me. I'm in no rush. I'm a, I'm a little turned up because I had that nap earlier today. But now, okay, so Homeland Security ran down in his, his mansions in uh, Los Angeles mm -hmm. County and Florida, somewhere down there, the swanky fucking... I don't know, South Beach area. Um, wh wh why do you sound happy? Why do you sound happy? Well, I'm not happy because, I. well, like I said, this has been going on for years. And exactly what you said, too, the Russell, I mean, the Usher thing, everybody been knowing what's going on on the low. It's been exposed. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> so I read that Mark Curry book. I read everything. <laughs> I had, let me tell you, back in the day, I had every write on magazine, word up magazine, everything. <laughs> so I know, like, you know, it's not that you want to see him going down, but if he's doing this for people and then people have been exposing him for years to see it actually come to play, it's going down. <laughs> Are you from the New York tri said I see a 212 area code. Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Okay, the BX. Well, listen, I appreciate you calling. Um, salute to Wendy. I love Wendy Williams. She did so much for the Star and Buckwild brand once upon a time. Um, so I appreciate you mentioning her. That That is my yeah, heart. Yeah, because remember. That's my heart. I mean, that's my heart. He ran out of here. She He had her run out of here. So, you know, and she was telling it all from then. Right. Okay? Right. Right. So, remember the picture? She knew the T before it was called T, huh? Yes. Yeah. She had the picture. She had the website. That's That was her breaking moment when she exposed him. Mm -hmm. And people, some people still didn't believe her. That's the thing. You know what's so funny? Back then when everything was coming up, people don't want to believe it because they want to take the entertainment and say, oh, he's so great and did this for bad boy. But once you get exposed to see how dirty somebody is, this is what you, I'm saying, like, you know? And come to find out, this is what I heard, but I don't know. It seems like everything started getting exposed when that guy, um, I don't know names, but when that guy started talking about Tupac, that's when... Um, this K Keefy D, the rat. Keefy D, the rat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it seems like every everything started crumbling once he started, it seems like once he started talking. Okay, okay. Well, listen to me. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something mm -hmm. tonight because I'm not on that allegedly shit tonight. I'm I'm, I'm out there. Um, this 
smells like um, <laughs> Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent, may have uh, played a part in taking Sean Combs down. 50 is a rat. That's on everything. <laughs> That, that, that's not a legend. I've seen paperwork. 50's a rat. Come oh, on. okay. I believe you. Because he's posting like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a rat. Yeah. The devil knows its own. <laughs> yeah. And you know his favorite lie. If he, if he did it, you know he, he did that shit. And I do believe he did. So, And he's having a ball. Okay. And then the thing is, um, somebody said, too, Stevie J is going down with it, the whole thing, too. Oh, that's, oh. that's what I was looking. Stevie J's a fucking loser. He used to wear the, the, the little nasty tight minx. You know, he did that, that hoe-ass shit to Eve, remember? If, if we talk, yeah. talk in New York talk. That whole ass shit to Eve with the fucking uh the VHS tape. Still though. I want to see that mm. nigga in in the steel bracelets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think to, to be honest, I think he was in the one of the mansions. That's what one of the pictures seen yeah. on one of the Instagrams that I seen. It was him. Um, the stuff. The. And it's sad though. It is sad with the kids because the other baby with the mother died. I forget the youngest son name. Um, Christian. You know, to right. see him, and you know, he don't have his mom, and you know, with all that. Remember, and remember, Kamora tried to explore it with too once she had yeah. that fire. Kamora Lee, you're talking about? Yes, okay. Kamora Lee. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Kamora, but she needs to be in handcuffs also. She knew what Russell was up to, smoking the PCP and taking pussy. Yeah, that's uh, what allegedly. Is. I'll say allegedly about that, okay? But listen, baby, I, I appreciate you. Keep me posted on the bullshit. You have my email address, yes? I always will, yes. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, okay. Ladies, is there anybody who specializes in tea? I, I need someone else to help me with tea in the mess. I just, you know, <laughs> all I do is just sit here and just, I'm straight with no chaser. Kirk Burroughs, it's okay. You don't have to be scared no more. That, that's my guy, man. Did he hit him over the head? Did I say this over? Well, I know he hit him. I told you he was Puff Daddy back in those days. Kirk owned 25% of Bad Boy. Did he hit him with a computer? It was one of those little Apple computers. Bang! And stood over him. And did, what's that guy's name? Uh, Big Red from the Five Heartbeats. And then sign over his 25% ownership. Kirk had needed stitches. Dwayne Taylor called me because that, that was my that was my homie, R.I.P. Stand up uh, sound view projects. Dwayne said we gotta go to the hospital. I said, What's wrong? He said, Did he just fuck uh fucked up Kirk? <sighs> Shit. Okay, kids, just uh please be up to speed tonight. I'm on one. Area code 718. Good evening. This is the rise and fall of Diddy. Are you ready? Hey. Yes, I am. What's up, Star? Hey, who's this? This is Pretty Mesh. Call it in for the first time, but, oh, you know, you? day one fan. Okay. Well, I don't have fans. Have you ever sent a uh, donation? Oh, yes. I know you don't have fans. We know this. But I'm calling it in with the T because okay. Diddy is going down. Yeah. yeah. How about we start here? Hang on a oh. second. Um, the, the, the boy that he uh, supposedly has taken home down there in Antigua, who's, uh, according to my uh, research, he's 19 now. And taking the boy home, he did the right thing. He got See, Diddy knew this was coming down, this uh, um, Homeland Security raid. He just left everything and everybody took the boy. You can see him on the plane with no shirt on and a fucking bottle of uh, some type of fan fancy fucking uh, <laughs> fancy champagne. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? And and Usher and, and, and Westchester, a hospital once upon a time, and a case of the hemorrhoids. Let's get messy. Come on, girl. <laughs> Usher. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Usher, it is what it is. He's accepted the fact that, you know, Diddy definitely gave him herpes and all the foolishness that was going down at his house. So, well, I don't know about herpes, but hang on now. Uh, you know, according to Big Gene, who told me personally, uh, they had to get Usher to the hospital. Somebody supposedly had his ankles behind his neck, uh, ripping that shit out the frame. Okay, I, I don't know about well, herpes. I, I don't know if he got the herpes from Diddy and then gave it to uh, uh, the, the big, uh, the big girl, whatever her name is. Um, what do you think? What do you think? 
So I think that he flew down to Antigua. Well, I am, you know, half Antiguan, so I know pretty much what goes on down there. Okay. We have an island down there that's called Jimby Bay. Okay. Oprah has a house there. Nice. And you cannot get on that island unless you're somebody. It's a fact. Okay? Yeah. It's a, it's like an Epstein's island. So yeah. I just found it crazy that he took a plane to the island. I'm like, hmm, he's at Oprah's house, definitely at Oprah's house. So I don't know, maybe he got takes over there too, because every time that they're there, it's like just billionaires and millionaires at parties on that island only. You can look it up. Girl, I'm sitting here sp- spitting facts tonight. <laughs> I don't have to look it up. I, he may have paid. Well, for, he may have paid for the boy when he was 15. Because I'm not. G- gave somebody fifteen hundred dollars. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, listen, you can play the alleged game. Down there, I'm you not. you can give somebody fifteen hundred dollars. That's that's a lot of money down there, you know. And then, and you can pick and choose. You you can pick a little little nigga, you know, a little bird chest nigga, <laughs> bring him back to the states. <laughs> Yes, you can. I mean, our money, our currency is good down there. Actually, our economy is very good. But yes, you, you can still pay. You can pay a little something and get something. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. do you have a YouTube channel? I'm looking to promote somebody else. Maybe you can call in, cam up, and you know, just help me. I help you. Are you a content creator? Uh, I will definitely reach out to you in regards to that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, here's the question, okay. because you was talking that fan shit when you first came on. Have you ever sent it a donation? <laughs> Are you serious? Do, do I need to screenshot and send oh, okay, everything to okay, you? Okay. I, oh, I always right, send a right, donation. Listen, I, I'm on that type of always time. Send a I'm donation. on that type of time tonight. Okay. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Folks, I'm allergic to broke people. I'm just, I'm letting you know right now, okay? Uh, Trump's bond in civil fraud case reduced. I, I told you, he don't want them properties. He don't want no fucking golf course up in Westchester County. That, that's, that's a tax. It's a tax shelter. <laughs> you can't play golf up in the north fucking eight months out of the goddamn year. <laughs> AB, I got your donation. Diddy had Usher. Uh, what did you say? Hold on a second. Diddy had Usher. And 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 the Huckle uh, Buckley. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. Diddy is on the run, kids. In case you don't know, uh, Bill O, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, J Bandit, I see you, my nigga. Are you camming up? How is your internet tonight, J Bandit? Please don't call here and kill the vibe, my nigga. Terrence, I got your donation. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't know that to be true. Mike got your donation. <laughs> Oh, Mike says, nigga, every time you move, it's a hip hop raid. Damn. (laughs) Folks, if you go to my IG page, you can see my setup. This this is a very easy setup to take every place I go. The lights. All I need is a fucking white wall. (laughs) Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Blade, I see you. Okay, thank you, Blade. Um, hang on a second. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, Yazzie nine one seven. Oprah has a house there. Oh, okay, maybe that. No, no. Uh, Oprah ain't fucking with Diddy like that. He he's on the run. He's on the run for real, for real. Uh, area code six four six. Are you there? Good evening. How do I pronounce your name? Six four six. How you doing, start? Oh, uh, name is Latin. How are you, man? It's cracking. What do you want to start, sir? Yeah, how you doing today? Yeah, we're gonna talk about Diddy a little bit, man. Listen, Diddy, you've had a good, you've had a good run. You no, know, it, it was nice knowing you, but I think it's time for you to go, man. It's time for you to go. It, they did on, they, they did three raids simultaneously on, on all your homes in New York, Miami, and L.A. Now nah, it's time for you to go, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything, anything done in the dark will be brought to the light. Mm. Yep. And again, take your time, sir. You, you sound a little nervous. Take this. I got time for the bullshit tonight. I got the nap. <laughs> we, we might do a marathon, my nigga. You know, um, were you and are you a a, a fan of Bad Boy and just say, you know, the, the monster hits over over the decades? Hmm? Um, yes, sir. Yes, I was. I, I definitely was. I was a big fan of Maze, big fan of Diddy. At least definitely when he when he had that um press play album. Mm. I, I thought the album was was really really good, but. When you hear, when you hear the stories that keep coming out about him, like stuff that 
he did even before he got on that boy or whatever. It's just it's just way too much, man. And I think it's time for the go. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me carefully. Lil C's is a real nigga. He's a great guy too, man. He's he's a stand up nigga, man. But he, he he's got to run. Lil C's needs needs to run, <laughs> get down there with uh, where is um, where's Russell at in Bali? <laughs> in Bali, yeah, with Russell. <laughs> Lil C's is a real nigga, but he knows too much. He got to get the fuck out of Dodge, man, because, if ho- <laughs> you know, I'm not worried about Homeland Security. I'm worried about somebody trying to, like, you know, put his lights out over what Diddy's uh, going through. I, just, I had to say that because he's a great fucking guy, and he has never uh, toll on niggas in all these years. Lil C's, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you, sir. Yeah. But but sorry. Um, let me ask you this though. Like, yeah. do you think it's gonna be like a, a trickle down effect? Do you think people like who he's um been in business with, like you know, of course, people in in high positions. Do you think they're gonna be also um brought down um into this the same way Jeffrey Epstein was? Well, sir, you you, you mentioned Jeffrey Epstein, and now you're talking about hip hop niggers. There is a difference. Let's not let's not get stupid. All right. Um, <laughs> 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 I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but um, you know, uh, as you just said, what's done in the dark comes to the light. Is that what you said? That's a little fancy shit you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but so yeah. also, um, I think on X right now they confront like who uh, was on the plane with Diddy. They think that um, it's white trash, Rory. Mm, okay. That was cute, sir. <laughs> that was cute. But listen, man, thank you for your donation. Okay. Thank you, man. All right. All right. Thank- yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Rondell, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. He says, Diddy, Diddy. It did what, sir? We, we don't have Diddy in cuffs yet. That's my nigga, but <laughs> we don't have him in cuffs yet. <laughs> what did he do? He's accused of sex trafficking. He's accused, you know? I have information that says he took the boy home. <laughs> or he took the young man home now. Kirk, are you okay, Kirk Burroughs? Oh, my God. F- folks, this is so layered. <laughs> I-, I-, I put Kirk on Vlad TV because Vlad is my homie. Kirk Burroughs goes on Vlad. Did you guys see Kirk Burroughs, former president of Babwa? He was on Vlad TV, and Vlad is asking him, and the nigga chokes up. And then after the interview, I say, yo, what happened? Why didn't you tell he made you, he made you suck his dick? He got spoked. Sheesh. <laughs> Victoria, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think Puff was... Uh, I'd be, uh, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Grizzy Green got your donation. Mm, which of Diddy's sons snitching first? Uh, oh, well, listen, man. With all due respect, uh, King Combs, he, he's lived a privilege a privileged life. You know, he don't, he don't know about no interrogation room. Huh? <laughs> so he's used to talking. <laughs> that nigga was raised like me. <laughs> he's comfortable around white folk. You know, you get up in the t- uh, in, in ter- interrogation room, you start asking for a Salem light in the back of Doritos, <laughs> you start telling <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> Uh, Sir J. Timothy, rumor has it that 666 pages of preliminary investigation was given to the feds by Detective Lopez, a.k.a. Starr. Well, sir, listen. Curtis Jackson's a rat. I'm going to say it again. 50. That's on everything. I've seen the paperwork. Huh? Irv Gotti and Ja Rule came on my show decades ago, and I, and I made copies. You guys know the story, right? Prown, I see you, my nigga. Thank you for tapping in, okay? Uh, JC, thank you for tapping in, sir. Uh, sir Shy, okay? Uh, Star, where were you in 1997? <laughs> Life After Death album. So I was right there. I was writing for The Source magazine. My, my pen name was Buck Wild. I was, I was right there. I was in, I was in the uh, thick of it all. Uh, JR, I got your donation. Thank you, don't she? says, big nigga, where you at, Diddy Pack? I'm, I'm, baby, I'm right here. I'm, I'm in Emerald Isle. <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. Uh, let me bring in area code. Uh, God, I, I can't find this. Uh, there you go. Area code 908. Good evening. Good evening. Are you there? 
What's, yes, what's up, Star? This is Kim. I had to call in. Hey, baby. Hey, girl. Hey, how, how you doing? You doing? I'm alive, you know. I really, I really feel like all this stuff that's going on is justice for Kim Porter because he's mm. doing all of this stuff to her. God bless the dead before Cassie was beating on her. Mm. Didn't he get that guy killed or made that guy commit suicide? What is it? Shaquem Kapit? Who was that that committed suicide? That was in hip hop. That was messing with Kim Porter. You're talking about the former. You know, uh, hang on, take your time. Do you have your laptop in front of you? Because I'm I'm old, baby. Uh, the the nigga from Atlanta. What was that nigga's name? He was a. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, take your time. A uh, troll babies. What was that guy's name? He he, he killed himself. Yeah, he he was uh, mm -hmm. he was slutting Kim out. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but go ahead. You were saying I'll I'll find the name in a second. Go ahead. So I feel like all of this stuff has been going on. I grew up in the '90s listening to you on Hot 97, and just being in New Jersey, being I didn't start radio until March of 2000. I, I wasn't on radio in the '90s, but well, <laughs> well, I still listen to you. Come on, babe, I'm listening. The I'm simple listening. fact of the matter is, the, the simple fact of the matter is, he's been doing a lot of stuff, and what I really think set this off was. Initially, Cassie had them asking for money, and what he should have did was he should have paid her before it came out because that's what sparked this. Because once you give something out, and you got to remember, last year, didn't they have it where there was a time limit on when you have uh, accounts where somebody assaults you, you right. had to have it by a certain deadline? Right. So the fact that she asked for money, he should have gave it to her behind the scenes before anything came out. Because now, once she did that and everybody's seen, now you got a target on your back. So you can't fight one, you can't fight all. And now, once they had all that information from just that lawsuit, they was going to take it and run from it. See, it's only one person that I know that beat the feds and let me tell you, in hip hop, and that was Irv Gotti. Mm. Puffy, it's over for him. It's, am I lying? You, you... Irv Gotti and his brother beat the feds. Chris, yeah. My nigga Chris, good guy. Good guy, Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the only ones I know with hip hop that beat the feds. Cause once they get you, they get you. Like, let's just be real. He done he done up. Like you've been doing stuff. Look at how you didn't want to pay your people for um the albums and stuff. How they told them that if you want your publishing, you have to sign the NDA. You can't never mention him, his mother, his son's music, all of that stuff. And um, people were turning the deals down because at what point now they published they ain't worth nothing. Yeah. Danity Kane wasn't all of that. Like it, it's crazy, but this is what he deserved. He's been doing all this stuff. All right, Peter Black, Rob. He was a good nigga. Did you know Rob? You know, Rob? Yeah, Black Rob. Oh. Craig Mack ain't here well, no more. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, baby, hang on. Black Rob was a great fucking human being. I mean, just a nice guy, you know? He he, he wasn't on that, you know, telling on people shit, and he just, he, he was trying to just get up out the hood. Now, he had a drug problem like everybody else, you know, me included, but, you know, the sh shit got so bad for him. And, and, you know, the, the mystery around his death, I don't want to get into that, but, you know, um, you know, it, it, it's shine time. It's shine time on, on Sean Combs. Go ahead, finish up, baby. Come on. I had to say that. It, it just, it just, Puffy ain't been right. Yeah. They said he was gangster when he was a kid. They said somebody stole his bike as a kid, mm -hmm. and they found out who stole it, and that, that kid never turned up again after. You know, his father was into this type of stuff. That not so much messing with people, but the whole gangster lifestyle, and it doesn't help that his mother helps helps build his ego up to keep doing his nonsense. Cause well, well, let's leave Mama Combs out of it because you know she, yeah, you, know, you know, I like her. But now, hang on a second but, but, before you go. I just want to say this: you're from New York, New York Tri-State. Yeah, from Jersey. Okay, okay. <laughs> Pray for Kirk Burroughs. Remember that name. Did, uh -huh. did he made him sign over his 25%? Hit him over the head with a computer. Boom! See, see that that's that's his track record. He he hit Steve Stout over the head with the fucking champagne bottle. Remember? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and Kurt went to went to the penitentiary. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Then bad boy niggas put drugs and guns on Kirk. Kirk wasn't into selling drugs and guns. Anyway. I appreciate the call, baby. I appreciate the call. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night. Folks, am I talking too much? <laughs> am I talking too much? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on a second. I got to make sure I'm promoting my sponsors. Folks, if you want to be a sponsor on the show, you make sure you reach out to me. Uh, and I, I need to promote BLK. Get them on the screen. That's one of my big sponsors. BLK, the dating app for black singles. Okay. 10.5 million downloads and counting. BLK is the go-to app where black love is celebrated in all forms. Free to download and easy to use. BLK is more than just a dating app. It's a movement, a community that gives back and uplifts its members. Okay, go there. Tell them I sent you. Uh, guys, uh, before I go any further, um, is G Depp out yet? Oh, that was a good guy, man. He he had a um he had a drug issue, but a great fucking guy, you know. Shit, shit got so bad to him, the demons and and the shit that he knew and saw. He 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 went and turned himself in. Shit. <laughs> good God Almighty, uh, Terrence, I got your donation. Folks, I want to stay on course tonight, please. Let's let's stay on course, and we can get the other stuff later. Bill O, got your donation. He says, supporting the show. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Jay Bandit, sit tight. I'm going to bring you in shortly. Uh, is it Pay D? If I'm saying your name right? Okay. Let me bring in area code 203. Are you repping Bloodsport? Connecticut. Bloodsport, a.k.a. Bridgeport. Uh, hey, how you doing, Star? Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You from Bridgeport? I'm at. I, I think they're going to pack Diddy up, man. He all set. Okay. Are you from Bridgeport, sir? That's my question to you first. I got time tonight. No, I, I, I used to live in Bridgeport, but I, I I moved out of Bridgeport. I'm in, I'm in a smaller town in Connecticut. Okay. Don't want to disclose okay. it because, you know. But, yeah, right. um, I, 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 you know, I've been a supporter for many years, not a fan of anybody. But um, I think Diddy's all set, man, you know. Uh, but do you think, you know, now that they, once they put Diddy in them cuffs, you think he's going to rat on people that are higher up than him? Because I, I know this rabbit hole is deeper than Diddy. You know, Diddy might be just a fall guy. And I, he, Diddy's not one of those fall on his sword type dudes, man. I think Diddy's going to get on the stand. He's going to Nino Brown everybody. So, you know, I wonder if uh, other people who are close to Diddy who have been, you know, separate from him now are, are scared. Because Diddy's on the run, man. He's not one of them dudes that can sit up in a cell. He's been living high off the hog. And he he ain't trying to see nothing different. So he probably reached out to Russell and said, "Hey, Russell, man, lift me over a, spi- a flight." Are you asking my opinion, sir? I mean, I'll let you yeah. speak. You know, you 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 have the floor. But you asking my opinion? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think Diddy? I think Diddy will put the Mossberg in his mouth, and he <laughs> he he'll do a Kurt Cobain before, before he goes to a four by four cell and lives like some of you bum niggas. Yeah, I hear you, man. He's been living. he been living a high life. That, that's what I would do. I mean, if 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 they caught up to me, you know, I just I I wouldn't be yeah. scared. Would be scared. It's time to go. Check out time. Pow! Yeah, just, yeah just, just eat your gun. Check, yeah, check out. You know, yeah. check out to that upper room. But, I'm not gonna be fighting niggas in the day room over a game of chess and you know, right? Silly Breaking shit. up soups on the floor. Telling somebody to turn it to BET. Nah, nah. Yeah, just you just gotta check out. You know, check out. Yeah. But man, you know, karma is real, man. The universe is real, man. And Diddy has a, a long track record of doing people dirty, man. And, and his chickens are coming home to roost. And like, like the uh, previous caller said, or the caller before her said, when she mentioned Kim Porter, man, that that was real dirty. With you know, he had a he had a track record track record of beating on women, man. And eventually, man, that stuff catches up to you, man. You know, so um, man, he's gonna get whatever's coming to him. And like like you said, the kids ain't. So can we leave the kids out? But hang on a second. You brought up Kim Porter. You brought up Kim uh, Porter, okay? Um, yeah. Kim Porter wrote her memoir, and she put everything on a a a, a, a zip drive. And mm. Kamara Lee Simmons has that zip drive. You follow oh. me? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why allegedly or supposedly her house caught on fire last year. You remember that? Yeah, I heard. I heard about that. I read. Yeah, I read about that answer. She was. She was. She was gonna. You know. She's. She's gonna bring it to Diddy. But luckily, like I said, that's how the universe works. You know. Even no, if- sir. Her house almost went up in flames, and and she, she got her mind right because she had babies in the house. So so she ain't talking about doing shit. 
but she's got the zip no? drive. No, no. She... Oh, that's a, but so you think the house going up on fire? That was like a hey, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bitch, I'll burn you and the kids up. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> man, <laughs> Diddy, Diddy, a wild boy, man. But you, you figured, man, you gotta it, if you have to keep doing all this stuff just to stay on top or, or, or to satisfy yourself, man. You, you, you need help, man. You need help, but. Okay. They're going to pack him up, man. Like I said, man, I don't see Khaled near him, and Jay-Z ain't near him, so I don't know, man. I think Jigga Man better watch out. You know, I don't know. I think Diddy got I think Diddy got He's one of those dudes that he keep dirt right, on. So listen, I'm going to cut you short because you, you, you're from Connecticut. It says Bridgeport, but you, I don't know, you, you're not keeping it like like really trill right now. You you just, you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you for the call, man. All right, man. Let's get him out of here. Shit says Bridgeport, Connecticut, a.k.a. Bloodsport. Hold on, folks. I'm promoting all sponsors tonight. RebelNYC.shop. Um, I'm not sure if they if they have the um uh, the T-shirts with barbecue on them, but they should. Barbecue the Rebel from Haiti. Okay. Black Father got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Mm. Okay, thank you for reminding me. I forgot to put the PayPal information at the top of the live chat if you guys want to support the machine. I can't get everybody on the lines. Uh, let me see if I can do it now, but thank you so much for reminding me. Hold on, hold on. No. Um, troll, pardon me, Plaque Father says, uh, the blood moon misses nothing, and Diddy is in for uh, the cooking. Mm. Okay, okay, that's a little crazy, but thank you so much. Guys, sit tight on the phones. I, I, I want to do a little talking here myself, you know? I want to do a little talking here about uh, things that I've seen, things that I know. I'm a rat, folks, for those who are new to the show. <laughs> I does this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talking about Diddy. Did he? He's on the run. That's a fact. Uh, the hold on, put that in there. He's on the run. That's a fact. And let me hit that to the pin. Did it work? Okay, that should be pinned to the top of the page. Um, he's on the run, according to TMZ. Let me just go back for a second. Um, they tracked his personal Love Air LLC jet, the well-known black Gulfstream 5 that Diddy has flaunted and flown over the years. Uh, the aircraft is currently on the ground in Antigua. Okay. Based on the flight activity viewed by TMZ, Diddy's jet has been up and down California between Sunday and Monday, taking off from Sacramento Executive Airport, okay, and um, landing in Palm Springs. Yeah, so so he's been like you know trying to uh, just get out of dodge, so to speak. I think he was tipped off, you know. Hey, Miss Ruth, I got your donation. She says Diddy just removed his aircraft from online uh, flight tracking service. Okay, thanks for coming on tonight. So thank you so much, Miss Ruth. You sent me an email. Um, Thank you. You sent me the original um, Get Christy Love movie, which then uh, th which then became the television series. Teresa Graves. Oh, I was I was infatuated with her uh, when I was a kid. She's one of the uh, first uh, 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 black females that I started touching myself. <laughs> Teresa Graves. Thank you, Miss Ruth. <laughs> I got you. Her, her and Judy Pace. That's going very far back. Uh, Imperial, I got your donation. Can we please bring back some smoke to uh, Sean Carter? Okay. Well, sir, um, Hove, a.k.a. Jay-Z. Hove is not a rat like 50. 50 is a rat again. <laughs> Hove will just turn his back on you, you know, as he did with Colin Kaepernick. So there's not going to be a lot, in my opinion, that you're going to see from, from Hove right now. 
Uh, but thank you for your, your donation. <laughs> uh, Alex, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. The spirit of Kim Porter working from the grave. Okay. I never met her. She was a former... Um, what, what, what does she do again at... Um, was it Uptown? She was like uh, the receptionist. Oh, she, she, she's gone, R.I.P. But yeah, she, she was desert thirsty back in the days. And then I'll, I'll be sure, put a, put a kid up in her. And then, and then Diddy, you know, saved her life. And and yeah, she's gone, R.I.P. And I don't know, know if, uh, if anybody like you know, um, 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 had anything to do with her untimely death. But uh, something with uh, pneumonia. Hmm? But supposedly she was trying to expose Diddy uh, before her, her passing. But thank you for your donation. Uh, Blade, I'm not sure where you're going with R. Kelly, but thank you so much for tapping in. Uh, Terrence? Nas might be the only honorable one from that era. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Hey, Jen Jenna, are you tapping in? Jen, do you want to call in and speak about that? I don't want to put too much on the table right now, but I got your email. And guys, Janet uh, just learned about Freaknik <laughs> by way of um, the show that we did yesterday. <laughs> Janet, you're from my era. How could you ha have not have known about Freaknik? Unless um, because you were in the U.S. Navy. Maybe you were just busy, you know. Um, um, and and I, I have respect for you. You know that, Janet, if uh, you were, well, you were in the armed forces. But uh, thank you, Janet, okay? And Winston, I got your donation. Thank you for what you do, Star. My first donation. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Vic Damone Jr. got your donation. Mm, Star, why so many Ricos happening now? Did he not this dumb? Well, well sir, listen. What, what's that old saying from the South back in the 70s? As the clouds part, the sky shows its true colors. It's time, my nigga. You know, just you, you, you can't. Run amok all the goddamn time. Let's go to every coat 509. Good evening. This is the rise and fall of Sean P. Diddy Combs. Are you there? Four. Hey, what up, man? 509. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I I'm, I'm just thinking how many bodies they're going to put on this boy. You know, Keefy D going to be snitching. Uh, and Cat Williams going to be snitching. So he got more to worry about than just some uh, sex sex abuse charges. Your speech sounds a little slurred, but you have the floor. Are you okay? You okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'm back. How's that better? No, no. Listen, it, it's fine. I'm 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 listening, but I just there's uh, there's a delay, and you sound like you you know you, you might be on one. It's okay if you're. Oh, I've been smoking weed. I've been smoking weed all week. Con continue. You know, but, but continue. Uh, he got bodies on him, man. He better worry about that. Not some. All these niggers. Why'd you hang up, sir? <laughs> I don't hang up on trolls. He said, all these niggers. I was about to ask him, when's the last time he teabagged a nigga? <laughs> Folks, we don't hang up on trolls. Call in. Cam up. <laughs> Nobody's blocked. I don't avoid any calls. Uh, Wicked Hebrew got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Mm, star snitching again. Hashtag pay attention. Wicked Hebrew. Pray for Kirk Burroughs. Oh, that's my guy, man. He's still my guy, and and, and he's he, he's terrified right now. Are there any litigators in the New York Tri-State that want to help Kirk Burroughs, former president of Bad Boy? Did he beat this nigga to a pulp? To, made him sign over his 25% ownership of Bad Boy. Kirk was, you know, he was cutting me checks, a little small checks, but I was publishing my magazine at the time. I used to go up to Bad Boy and get a little $1,500 check, a $2,000 check. Kirk was a real one. 
Area code 720. Good evening. We're, we're going off the rails. This is uh, the rise and fall of Diddy. Are you there? 720? Yes, no, yes, me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Star, for yeah. getting me on. I appreciate it. How are you, sir? It was cracking. In, in your words, got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. Oh, man. Oh, I hope they, oh, I hope they do him, give him the dirty dance. Mm. I'm so tired of Diddy. This man, Tupac and Biggie is gone, and your punk ass is still dancing in videos right now. Come on, man. I'm, I I couldn't wait when I saw they raided his home. I was like, thank you, gee, there, there is a God. There is a God. We, well, sir, with all due respect, yeah. with all due respect, uh, Tupac was a great poet and a rapper and a hell of an actor, but uh, D- Diddy, Diddy was and is the gangster, you know, and and we can't be mad because a gangster caught an entertainer slipping, you know? You can't be mad at the gangster. You you can't claim the hood, yo, I'm a real nigga, and then and then a real nigga like Diddy pushes the button, and then after Tupac gets shot, he called Keefe D and said, yo, was that us? Meaning, you know, was that the money that I spread around to pop that nigga's top, right? Right. He did that. He did it. Yeah. And got away with it. And now it, it's coming back around. Okay. It's the old three. He, He's not going to the penitentiary. So let, let me just say that. I just on some G. He ain't going to the penitentiary. He ain't going. What, what I'm thinking is, you know, he, he called Russell Simmons and said he told Usher to go down. You see, Usher took a picture with Russell Simmons no more than a few weeks ago yeah. after that damn Super Bowl performance. He said, Usher, go down there and check it out. Make sure it's good before I fly down there. Sir, can you please stop giggling? Sir, 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 please don't don't giggle. I'm on real nigga time. I mean, you know, um, do you think, what do you think Diddy's going to do? I think Diddy will either fake his death or blow his brains out. He's not, he's not going to let the steel bracelets be put on him and then go to the penitentiary like the average bum-ass nigga. Can you speak to that? He's going to go see Russell Simmons. He's going out Let's there. Let's get that game goofy nigga out of here. <sighs> Any real niggas uh, in the live chat? Did he, did he will blow his brains out. That's what I would do. <laughs> the penitentiary? I ain't scared to go. I just ain't got, I, ain't nobody got time for that. Pow! Salute to my nigga Russell, huh? Russell got the fuck up out of here. He's in Bali. He's sitting around picking his picking his feet and breathing. All that yoga shit. Russell's an old dust head. Every year there's a new female that pops up and says, he he took the pussy. He was high. <laughs> and he was. The nigga Russell used to do PCP. There's no controlling. Smoking dust. I tried this shit twice. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> that was his thing, Russell. If we if we talking tonight, are we talking tonight? Come on, Alex, I got your donation. Hold on a second. Are we talking that real shit tonight? Uh please, sir, don't giggle. Yeah. No grown ass man calling me giggling. The fuck? Uh Okay, Wicked Hebrew, thank you again, sir. Thank you for your, your support. Uh, Frank White, he says, let's go, old nigga. Hey, man, <sighs> my beautiful troll troll babies have been e- emailing me all day. Yo, big nigga, where you at? <laughs> I said, oh, shit, I got to go live. <laughs> hey, Janelle, Janelle, Janelle from Queens. Diddy going down. Thank you, Janelle, and I like your, your, your picture, darling. You wear it well. Are there any females uh, other than my alleged daughter, Killer, that, that do tea and you want to cam up? Come on, get on the screen. I'll let you talk, you know. Let's get real messy tonight. Messy, messy, messy. I got some other shit I can tell you that, that Gene Deal told me. Who chow? Huh? Pa- Pam from Total. What a... What what a, a good human being, huh? Did he did her did her? Well, he did all those girls dirty uh, from total. P- 
Pam from New Jersey has always been a righteous woman. Don't get it fucked up. And she refused to be down with illegal activity and all that extra shit. And, and she said, fuck it. I'll, I'll go get a job at White Castle. Anybody ever seen Pam from Total? After, after the hits, after the, the Pepsi Presents tour, you could go to White Castle and see Pam back there flipping the burgers. <laughs> right or wrong? <laughs> you go to the drive through at 3 o'clock and there's Pam from Total. Huh? Serving up onion rings. I'm on that type of time tonight. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Jacksonville tapping in. Good evening. White Good evening. Castle. Anybody ever seen Pam from Please turn that down in the background. Please. 904. Let's get him out of there. I'm doing too much. Folks, please don't kill the vibe. Please don't kill the vibe. Um, area code 347. Good evening. The rise and fall of Diddy. This is it. It's shine time. You there? Three, four, seven. Yes, no, maybe. Yo, what yes. up, sir? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Yo, what up? What up, sir? How you doing? Um, I'm real quick, man. Diddy ain't built for no penitentiary. Y'all know that. All this gangster shit and all that. He ain't, he, he, like you said, he'll blow his top off or, or take some poison or something. He ain't going to no penitentiary. That's out the question. <laughs> and um, my, my thing is, um, I'm trying to figure out or who the hell did he piss off? Because for decades, he'd been, he been buying his way out of out of shit. So I'm trying to figure out who, what toes did he step on for all this shit to start coming down on him right after incident, right after incident. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. But um, So are you a real nigga? Because I'm on real nigga time right now. Are you a real nigga? Uh, well, I'm about as... Real as I can be, you know, okay. Brooklyn, New York. Okay. okay. Been to penitentiary, all that shit. So okay. I, you know, well, I, well, 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 fuck the algorithm. Let, let's let's just get that out the way. Fuck the algorithm. Now, everybody has a fetish. Yes. Oh uh, yes, yeah, you probably correct in that. In that. Uh, everybody has a fetish. Everybody has a thing. You know, just I have a thing. I I like to see a bitch get up in some. Clear heels and and, and 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 get to you know get to dance and bitch dance. No, <laughs> dance. Wow. B- b- bitch dance. Listen, bitch dance. I'm I'm gonna sit here and take this drink. I'm gonna jerk my joystick and just dance. Everybody's got a thing. Diddy has a thing, sir. I mean, I can't say for certain, but you know, sometimes that fetish catches up to you. You know, it's not always about. Well, it's not always about. Oh, uh, he pissed somebody off. I mean, you know you. Sometimes that thing gets the best of you. The niggas on the run, sir. I yeah, asked. I he... asked are you a real nigga because Russell had a thing. How old are you, sir? How old are you? Um, fifty-seven. Come on, nigga. You's an old nigga. You should know. <laughs> you should yeah, know. I'm right up there with you, bro. Yeah, I'm right up there with you. You got a thing too, nigga. Whatever your thing is, whether it's uh, you know. You think well, I had some things in the past, but now nah, that's that's I'm dying with all that shit. None of that shit no more. I'm too old for that shit. I guess I guess at some point he had to be, you know, his thing got out of hand, like you said, the fetishes or whatever, and um, he got to be stopped. You know, that shit did get out of hand. Who knows? But I, you know, I, see, my thing is what what I was saying was all these decades he's been into shit, you know, and there's all kind of shit. And he's been able to buy his way out of shit. So I don't know. But uh, how'd you wind up in the the penitentiary, respectfully? How'd you? You sound sound like you did a stretch. How'd you wind up in the penitentiary? Oh, quite quite a few, quite a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, quite a few. Started early, quite a few. But um, what is your thing? Uh, strong arm robbery. Strong arm robbery. What is your thing? Taking pussy? What is your thing, my nigga? How'd you do? Well, I'm in a penitentiary. <laughs> man, put that, whatever you sipping, man, put that shit down, man. Let's get that bum ass nigga out of here. Sheesh. Old bum ass Brooklyn nigga. Hang on a second, folks. Uh, Junior, I got your donation. <sighs> oh. Start, when are you going to tell Gene Deal that he's an accessory? <laughs> I'm telling Gene nothing. Gene's his own man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> but I got that information about Usher from Gene Deal. <laughs> That's a whole fact, huh? And supposedly the, the boy that, that Diddy took home, or wherever he's at, the, the Caribbean Islands, Antique or some fucking where, supposedly, you know, Diddy's thing, his thing just caught up to him, you know, and, and maybe the boy, the boy's family said, hey, we want what you gave up, up, up Cassie. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. My 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 son is uh he needs surgery to to fix his anus. He's he's only eighteen, and he has to wear a diaper. Fucking around with you. And Diddy being Diddy as he is said, Nah, nah, Playboy, just relax. I'll give you five hundred k. Oh my goodness. Um, hold on, folks. Have to promote more sponsors. I want to thank you folks for sponsoring my show, okay? Reach out via email, and uh, we'll give you what's called prime real estate on the on the show here, okay? www.hudsontubs.com. Please go there. Tell them I sent you, okay? Bathtub restoration and reglazing. High-quality work for antiques. If you are a homeowner or if you have a any type of bed and breakfast or an Airbnb, this person will make the difference. His name is Maurice. Go there, www. HudsonTubs.com, okay? Hey, Lauren, I got your donation. Uh, mm, star of the Kirk Burroughs story has me blown away. Pray for Kirk Burroughs. Find him on social media and say, Kirk, star, star is, he's telling. I'm telling. I'm, t- I'm telling. <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> uh, Dade, uh... Okay, now I got this nigga from uh, supposedly from Bridgeport emailing me. Sir, sir, please, please. Thank you for your call. Uh, R. Kelly good. Okay, I, 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 never mind R. Kelly. R. R. Kelly, he's a broke nigger. He can he can't buy himself out of his situation. We talking about Diddy, who's got money. Jay, I got your donation star. Diddy made MV uh, change. Uh, oh, okay. Change ferry uh, policies. Okay, that that's a good thought. Okay, where is Johnny Too Cool? Johnny, is that you? Area code two four zero. Johnny, on a Monday. Yeah. What up? This is a foundational Colombian American. Let's go. When are you gonna come up, man? You're, you know, you've been supporting my machine for a number of years. I I, I appreciate your support. When are you gonna come up, man? Friday. Friday. If you do a show Friday, I'll do it. Where's your cousin? Is he around? Uh, no, he's not around. Did you guys <laughs> did you guys stop selling pills in the club? Why isn't he around? <laughs> Fuck is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's around. <laughs> he's around. Let me say what's up uh, to him. Put him on the phone. All right, hold on. Can you give me can you put me on pause? Well, 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 where is he? Where's your cousin? He's not. I'm telling you, he's not here with me. I'll, I'll put him on the line. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so now you're getting married. So so you all of a sudden now you don't want to fucking work anymore. You you want to be a husband. What are you, 20, 28 now? How old are you now, Johnny? 27. 27. You're getting married and all of a sudden you don't want to fucking go to work. It's it's a, it's a Monday night. You're supposed to be out there hustling the pills, allegedly. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me put them on the one. Put me on hold. Put them on, uh, yeah. Get them on the one. Okay, call them on a three way. I got time. All right, turn around. Guys, this is Johnny Too Cool. No, no, I, I got time. Go ahead and call him. I'll, I'll wait for All right, you. I don't have Johnny Too Cool. He's been supporting the machine from day one. He's uh, from Co- Colombia, okay? Um, it, hi, Tamia. She says Russell was just served papers in Bali. Hello? R- Tamia, can you send me a link via email, please? He, he, he's on the line. John, okay. hey, what's up, man? Yo, yo, yo. Johnny, girl. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, you. Johnny, that's your cousin, right? Yeah. What, what's going on, big? What's going on, big old head? What's up? What's up? Hey, listen, what, what the fuck is up with Johnny? He's getting married, so he doesn't want to go, go to work with you anymore at the clubs. 
<laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what I got to say, sir. He's capping. He's never leaving. I'm more than ready. He ain't leaving for nothing. Right, right. He knows what he's got to do. He's got to he's got to bag up the work as he should. Right. Be about the bag. I told him, fuck out of here with that. He ain't doing none of that shit. <laughs> Johnny, when are you getting married? Uh, you, you were on some real goofy shit uh, a couple of months ago. <laughs> uh, this, um, this summer. Taking the L. I, I'm gonna invite you. Well, and, and the girl you're marrying is Puerto Rican. You're actually gonna marry a Puerto Rican. Colombia, <laughs> uh, Colombia. Oh my god! He, he's on the booger sugar too. Don't worry. <laughs> but folks, give us a second. We're just catching up. All right. So, all right. So, why is he not at work with you tonight? He, for years, you guys have been calling in at night as you bag up the work. What's going on tonight? He, he, he's, he's capping, sir. He's allegedly saying he he's there. He's he already knows he's gonna get the meat cleaver on the side of his neck if he mm. ain't on work on time. Yeah, yeah, that's what he I. He already mean. knows. It's that's about right. the bag first, the booger sugar, and the woman later. So okay. work is work. All right, all right. Well, look, man, good to talk to you guys, Johnny. Uh, salute, man. Um, enjoy your night off, but get back to work tomorrow. Right. Okay. I I actually got. I want to talk about the. Uh, the topic. No, no, um, but... f- fuck the topic. Fuck the topic. Good to hear from you, man. <laughs> I want, I want to get him out of here. <laughs> this nigga getting married. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> nigga getting married and getting soft. <laughs> Jason, yeah, got your donation. Oh, Diddy on the race, right? Diddy on the race. But I ain't beat that case. Bitch, I did the race, <laughs> for those who don't know. Um, anybody want to call and talk about Trump? Uh, <laughs> the, the bond has been reduced in his civil fraud case in New York. He was never going to pay them. He, oh, he was never going to post a bond. <laughs> the, the, the properties, again, for those who, you know, you know real estate, he owns leases. 40 Wall Street, he owns a ground lease. Lease. Nike Town, he owns a lease, not the fucking building and not the property. (laughs) Trump Tower is a 30-year-old building. It's got, uh, I'm sure, uh, the wiring needs to be updated. I'm sure he took all the gold out of that apartment he had, you know, decades ago. He didn't give you no fucking money for them, uh, them properties. He wants to become a victim. If he becomes a victim by way of the uh, the attorney general, he'll win by a landslide. I'm, I'm voting for him in case you don't know. It's my guy, four or five, right? But uh, yeah, that's the news. In case I didn't mention, pardon me, New York Times, other platforms, Trump's bond and civil fraud case reduced. He ain't giving you no fucking, uh, what is it, $175 million now they're asking for? Eat a dick. John, are you tapping in? I got your donation. Oh, he says Janet is a liar in a blank. No, nah, I don't think that Janet uh, knew about uh, Freak Nick. Janet, um, Janet is a traveler. She's a very knowledgeable woman. She's got a union job. That's why she doesn't cam up. She's in the union. Um, but Janet, Janet served in the U.S. Navy, so she was traveling during all those Freak Nick years. I, I believe her. I believe her. Garcia got your donation. Ray and Ghost might be the honorable of that era. I, I, I would say so. Peace to the guy, Ray Kwan and Ghostface Killer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Garcia also says, and salute to the locks. Yeah, man. Great guys. All of them. All of the locks. Great guys. I know them well. Um, uh, okay, Blade says, Star, I'm saying that over uh, the years, R. Kelly might have been giving the feds information about... So R. Kelly's broke. The feds don't need him. Good guy, R. Kelly. Met him one time, but he he's, he's going to die in the penitentiary, sadly. Ricky Rick, got your donation. Instead of pause and no homo, it's now no ditty. Yes, sir. We know this. We mentioned this yesterday. Hashtag no ditty. Thank you so much, Ricky Rick, for your support. RJ, I got your donation. Big nigga, they even cuffed the kids. Whole estate got that black wake-up call. It's shine time for Diddy. Take that, take that. Yeah, 
Yeah. Anybody want just be easy, but yeah, they they cuffed the kids. <laughs> Cuff the kids. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wait a minute. Area code seven zero three. Good evening. Are you there? You have to speed on what's going on. Seven zero. What what's good, Star? This is Alkali City. Where you been, man? What's cracking? Yeah, I've been. You know, Twitter Spaces is starting to take over the live streams. And um, we got a good uh, finance community talking about the new financial system. So I've been on Twitter Spaces going crazy. You used to be my, my Puerto Rican um, correspondent with regards to, to, to all the crime and shit that goes on in Puerto Rico. But you also have a very good understanding of what's happening here in the States, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I, 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 th- I thought you didn't fuck with the show no more. Was cracking. Nah, trust, trust, <laughs> trust and believe, Star. I'm still here. I'm still listening, man. He's still my guy. Thank you, man. You know, um, you. you know they they got Puff Daddy. Um, Justice for Tim Porter. Mm. You know, um, uh, Fat Joe. He better keep his eyes open. He's next. Stop right there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop right there. I did a show about Fat Joe. I'm predicting Fat Joe will will become a politician. No, no, I, I think he's good. I think I think he has told everything he knows. He has already admitted, uh, sitting down with Gail King, that 90 percent of his raps were lies. I see him getting into politics. What say you? Well, I see a lot of stuff coming out of the woodworks. You know, once once they put 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 Puffy in cuffs right now. First of all, he ran he ran away. He flew to the Virgin Islands. He flew to the verge after they're chasing you for child trafficking and you're going into Epstein headquarters. That's, that's your first place to go fly off into the Virgin Island owned by Richard Branson, plus, um, Jeffrey Epstein's co coercer, you know, in this whole tobacco. And this is justice for Kim Porter. I, I, I've done a live stream um, two years ago about this. Okay. I, I explained Puff Daddy was three hours Prior to Kim Porter's death, he was with her. You know, when they did her autopsy, they said she died of a flu. When they did her yeah. autopsy, she had she had a black eye. She had lacerations. Ammonia. But now, hang, all hang, across hang, her hang on, hang on. Alkaline said, I don't mean to cut you short. I want to go back to Fat Joe. I'm not hating, but objectively speaking, K- Kamala Harris b- brought him up to the White House. He was sitting there, skinning and grinning. And I think that he is going to become a politician. You don't, you don't see the play. You don't see Fat Joe becoming more, more Hispanic and and bringing the Hispanics in to vote for Biden. You don't see that. Um, I can see him doing a Alexandria Ocasio Cortez maneuver, mm. but he he's not he's not as articulate as she is. The guy he's dumb as a doorknob. You know, you understand. His his role and, and, and like political reform and stuff like that, it wouldn't make sense, especially to like anybody who's diplomatic and understands like the political game. He has no idea. He he is a person to coerce, you know, the 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 urban community, you know. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna, you know, um manipulate the hood the same way Alexandria Ocasio Cortez did. Now she has a seat in office you know, in Congress, you know, and she got, she got it by, by, you know, um, manip- if I can jump in for a second, stay with me and, and make sure I have your number. Uh, so, so you and I can talk behind the scenes. I think she's, yes, I think she's finished because she's talking about genocide going on, uh, down there in the Gaza. She, she is, she, she's rooting for, for, for the goddamn sand niggers, uh, down there. Um, so I think she's finished, but for fat Joe, even if he is as dumb as the day is long, He's got charisma. I'm not saying you have to see it, see it my way, but he they brought him up to the White House to sit there. He's skinning and grinning with Kamala Harris. Uh, please yep. stay in contact with me because I, I see the play going down. I see Fat Joe, Joseph Cartagena. He's a convicted thief, you know, but but hey, I think that uh, they don't care about all that old shit. Finish up, please. Unless, uh- Unless he has a sit down with like, because Alexandra Ocasio Cortez, she's another Bronx native, right? So if who knows if she might invite him, you know, to have a sit down and you know they do a live stream together and they announce 
some sort of political running for him. But she's not going anywhere. She's spearheading this deal called the Green New Deal. I know. It's spearheaded know. by the Vatican, the Pope, and, and the World Economic Forum. Yeah. This is part of the new financial system, a way to crash the dollar bill, bring digital currency into the stock market. Wait, wait. They just released a Bitcoin ETF, so which is a, a, um, a, a, a what is it, a, a, a electronic trading fund. Right. So, um, so you know that world very well, and I respect it about you. You know all about that uh, bit Bitcoin. But listen, man. Please email me so I can get your, your direct phone number. Let's you and I uh, stay in touch. Um, Fat Joe. Yeah, keep this going, Star. This is justice for Kim Porter. And not only justice for Kim Porter, we got to bring up um, Josie Harris, Floyd Mayweather, his baby's mother. She, when she died, too, her autopsy showed she had bruises, punches, lacerations, the same as Kim Porter. And another. Well, who, who did that to mother, her? He was with her an <laughs> hour before her death. Who did that to her? Uh, Floyd Mayweather's. Excellent. Floyd Mayweather, because Floyd Mayweather well, was... you don't know that. Hang on now. You don't know that. Easy, easy, easy. Floyd's got long money. Alleged. Now, alleged. I'm, I'm not trying to catch a lawsuit. Never mind. Never mind that. But listen, I man, said, uh, Alleged. It's, alleged. It, if you have no proof, that could be reckless. Disregard the truth. Never mind that. Stay, yeah, the, o- the only thing touch. we know... Stay in touch, man. Let's yeah. Get him out of here. Don't start talking about Floyd Mayweather, huh? Money may go make it do what it do. I do not support that man's comments about Floyd, May- Floyd Mayweather putting hands on no goddamn body. No, I don't. Hold on a second. Fat Joe is going to run for office. Guys, there's my email address on the screen if you want to become a sponsor on the show or if we have business to talk, you know. Sit tight on the phones. I want to say thank you to you folks who have been emailing me. Up to like damn near 45 emails. I was trying to take the, the night off. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, shit. I forget. This. Hold on. I'm live now. Are you calling in? Folks, if you're a sponsor, you ha- you have to text me and say, Star, I'm calling in from such and such area code. I, I don't remember phone numbers. I'm going to be 60 in May. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yo, guys, is Dana with the data still live? Is Dana live on YouTube? Uh, are you on the line now? Hold on. Okay. Text me when you're on the line. You're on the line. Okay. GEL, I got your donation. Thank you for your support. Those women are complicit. Simp ass, okay. Uh, who just sent me a long ass email? Please, please, please don't send me th- three fucking paragraphs to read, please. Joe also says they have dirt on Joe. He will benefit by shilling. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not rooting for Fat Joe, but but I'm I'm not hating if he is able to uh. To flip and parlay, you know, into a politician. Blade says, Star suddenly wants niggas to cam up. So, oh, okay. So his Fed handlers (laughs) can make some new entries into their facial recognition database. (laughs) Nude, I got your donation. Um, mm. Okay, uh, where is the flat chest African boy, Florida boy Jay? Pickable. Oh, my Jay's busy. Oh, Rory, where are you, man? Where's white boy Rory? Hold on a second. <laughs> white boy Rory. Uh, Rory, I don't see you on the line. I'll come back in a second, all right? Hold on, guys. I'm looking for this young lady who sent a nice donation earlier. 
And uh, she said she was on a call. And 973, is that you? Good evening. The rise and fall of Sean P. Diddy Combs. Oh, yeah, there? he's falling again. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Good How evening. Good How evening, star. What's happening? How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? How are you? Yes. Um, as far as Diddy goes, yeah, Diddy. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not too privy on all his business and all that. You know, I know him just as much as anybody else as far as being a, an entertainer. But, I mean... You know, I tried to watch a little bit of the news real quick just to try to find out what's going on. They said that everything's being run by out of the Manhattan uh, and they coordinating with Florida and, and California mm -hmm. and they did the raids. You know, they coordinated. So that definitely means they, you know, all this is being planned like kicked in the door, my nigga. Pow! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bulletproof vests and helmets. Hit the deck. Yeah. Hit the deck. They out They out there. Don't fucking move. Yeah? <laughs> Don't fucking move. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And um and um oh yeah, my bad. That was me that sent that long ass email. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh <laughs> so can I ask you to please stop giggling, please? Oh, okay. You? I'll try. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So then um uh I think you based on what the like the news was saying, though, it seems like they don't have a lot of info on, like, you know, it, it seems like a lot of speculation. Like, they just, it's almost like a shot in the dark. Like, they need probable cause, of course, to do something like this. But as far as them actually finding something uh, and something to prove sex trafficking, which does make sense. Like, you know, what are you going to find that would help prove that? I don't know if they're going to find anything enough to stick. Like, I think he might just change his name again. And he might be good, you know, if he has a decent, pretty decent lawyer. Last time I think he had who? Johnny Cochran? He's no longer with us, but if he finds someone who's good, I, I think he might be, I think he, I don't think he's going to see jail, jail time or anything like that. Okay. Well, listen, I don't wish jail upon anybody unless you, you know, out here shooting innocent women and children, then I make it my business to get you in the fucking penitentiary. But now uh, you're calling from the New Jersey area, yes? Yes. Might this be karma catching up to Sean Combs? You know, just over the years, just, you know, living that boss life, you know, playing with niggas, you know, running people's <laughs> careers into the ground. Huh? Uh, I mean, me personally, I don't believe in karma, but yeah, yeah, I do believe, you know, things are just might, you know, after a while, if you move a certain way, I do think it's going to catch up with you, okay. you know? Um, so it, that's a possibility. It's hard to be like, all these, you know, all these allegations are false with it. So many, it is, it is weird that all this stuff. Are you wishing for the niggas downfall, sir? He's in Antigua, no. Antigua right now. <laughs> no, I, I'm not wishing for his downfall, but if he's guilty, then I think he should, he should be held accountable for his okay. crimes. Absolutely. Yeah. I thank you for the call, sir. All right. Thank you. Fucks up with all the giggling. Sheesh. Baker, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Damn, Star. <laughs> you got diarrhea of the mouth tonight. <laughs> the star, I'm a rat. <laughs> what does Star spell backwards? <laughs> Rats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> salute to that man, man, Baker. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pray for Kirk Burroughs. Pray. Hang on a second, guys. I'm looking at the uh, the TMZ report. And there's other reports as well. Uh, the troll babies. Are there any, any chat niggas in the live chat from, from uh, academics uh, camp? Salute to Ak. He pulled out the new Maybach. Woo! Woo, shit! The white interior. Troll babies, are you up to speed? I pulled out the new Maybach and, oh my goodness. Huh? Is Ack kicking young Miami's back in? <laughs> oh, they're going to put a flashlight in her ass. 
Supposedly, Diddy was giving her money. Uh, I, I heard some fabricated story, a couple of hundred thousand a month. Why the fuck would anybody give that sewer rat uh, a couple of hundred thousand a month? Up on X talking about all I do is shop and have niggas lick my ass. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I didn't even promote the cam up link yet. Or guys, should maybe I should just keep talking myself and not do, not do the cam up thing. What do you think, huh? Anybody want to cam up? I feel like talking tonight, talking hella crazy. And hold on a second. Uh, Smartland. I want to make sure I'm promoting smartlandbuyers.com. Oh, okay. Smartland buyers, hold on, hold on. Let me get white boy Rory. Oh, I know Rory's going 10 toes down. The white Denzel was cracking, Rory. Good to hear from you, man. What, yeah. what it do? What it do? <laughs> ah, they going after another FBA legend, man. Let's go. Oh, they going after the Hall of Gangsta. Mm. I can't believe it. You know, I don't He's I, actually from Mount Vernon. You know that. He's from Mount Vernon. Yeah, he's from Mount Vernon. His pops was a gangsta from yeah. Harlem. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I see. I, I kind of was watching it a little bit when I got home today, and it was like, oh man, they, you know, when they they go after all three houses at one time, that means that's a coordinated effort. Right. He's they got something on him. They're looking for something. Did you? They had like, like, like ladders and shit. Yeah. Uh, when they were going after, when they were going in the raid, and I was watching. I I was sure they were going to start bringing out some malnourished little black boys. But what you know, the cameras didn't catch. They didn't stay there for too long. It just, it just kind of showed the outside of the house. So we don't, you know, we don't know if they got hostages out of there. It looked like they were looking for hostages, you know, in that Miami house. Well, now hang on a second because uh, they went up in two of his mansions, one in L.A. County, the other one in uh, Florida, where whatever area that is in Florida. Uh, yeah, I think they said New York too. Oh, oh, did they? okay, okay. I'm not speed. Straight violation. Handcuffed the black kids. Me meanwhile, when the authorities ran down on uh Ruby Frankie, right? They they took right. they took two hours uh to talk to, to the little girl. What's she like 10 years old? I forget. Two hours sitting there talking to her. They didn't handcuff her. You know what I'm talking about, Ruby Frankie? Rory? Ah, uh, not 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 ringing a bell, really. Okay, Ruby okay. Frankie. Well, Ruby I'm Frankie like and, and, and her lesbian lover, you know, uh, uh starving. Uh, Ruby's kids, a huge fucking story. Starving the kids, the goddamn police run down, uh, pull her out. She's on the phone. She says, I'm talking to my lawyer. They didn't cuff her. And anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm rambling. So, so what do you think? Right, yeah. right. What do you think about Diddy? Yo, Diddy's gangster. Diddy's gangster. He's not waiting at home for the feds. He got his, he got his private, private jet together. You know, if you know one thing about Diddy, Diddy will put on a show. That's the one thing. If you ever see the Diddy concert, I've been to two of his shows. You know, uh, not that he's the, the, they're the best musicians in the world, but if you go to a Diddy concert, they're going to put on a show. I mean, they're going to put on a serious fucking show. Yeah. You're going to get your money's worth. And Diddy ain't going out like that. If he's going down, he's going down. He's going to put on a show for the whole world. He's a performer, yeah. you know, and he's going to. He's going to take some people with him. I, I could see Diddy hold up in a compound in like a third world black country mm. with some little black boy soldiers, boy soldiers around him. And, uh, you know, going live on social media, telling them, you know, I got I got stuff on all of you. And start, you know, knocking down lists of people he that were at his party, you know. Uh they only went after Epstein because they had him up in the up in the jail cell up in okay. up in that, um, downtown in the federal detention center, Manhattan, and um, in the tombs. And Diddy knows if they put him in the tombs, there's a good chance he ain't making it out of there. He'll be food. So he'll, he gonna, he'll be food. he will be food. He know, he ain't letting them take him yeah. take him in. Yeah. No way. I don't see that happening. No, and I don't see him putting a pistol in his mouth either because I think he's a. Uh, I think he ra he would go out in a blaze of glory, than than rather than go out like that. You know, uh, people you know people uh, shouldn't forget Diddy really is a gangster, man. Yeah. He ain't no punk. Diddy he's about, ain't no punk. He's about that action. You know? he's about that action. So yeah, so what he likes a little bit of boy action here and there. That's his business. 
you know, if he likes to have, you know, uh, nude black boys uh, feed him grapes in bed uh, in one of his mansions, then, you know, that's his FBA business. That's not everybody else's business, you know. Uh, he should he should tell people you know stay out of black people's business. He should he should be able to go into the feds and yeah. tell <laughs> tell the Department of Homeland Security you know stay out of black people's business. You know this is black people's business. There ain't no little white boys in here. I just got cute little. I just got a bunch of cute little high yellow niggas with me. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. <laughs> it's part of our culture. Oh. It's part of our culture. Oh, wow. They're just twerking. All they're doing is twerking. They ain't doing nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's white boy violating. It's white boy violating. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I, you know, like I said, I see this thing. This is going to be good. I have a feeling this is going to be really good. Diddy ain't going out like no sucker. He worked too hard. He worked too goddamn hard to get where he's at. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm rooting for him. You know, uh, okay. I'm rooting for him. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not rolling with the police on this one. I'm I'm Team Diddy all the way. Okay, yeah. I'm Team Diddy to the end. Plus, I'm Team Diddy too. But you know, so, I got I got to do what I do. You feel me? Got to do what I do. <laughs> no, I feel you. No, I feel you. You got to be objective. You got to yeah, be objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm Team Diddy, you know? I want him to open up an all-black, uh, you know, LGBTQ-friendly resort somewhere that the, the feds can't touch him, you know? All right, all <laughs> That's right. what I want to see. All right, Rory, um, before you go, uh, uh, I, I want you and I to talk behind the scenes as we do. Uh, Ruby Frankie, you're not, you're not up to speed on that story? No, it's not, I'm not familiar with it, to Ooh, be honest with you. Okay, when you get time, Google Ruby Frankie, F-R-A-N-K. Let's let's see if we can revisit that. Uh, her and her, her lesbian lover have been convicted on some crazy, some crazy white people shit. Um, let's let's see if we can talk Ruby. about that Tuesday or Wednesday, right? Ruby Frankie. Ruby Frankie. All right, cool, cool, all cool. Right, all right, all right, slow, all right, slow, slow. Okay. Right. White boy Rory tapping. And guys, on the screen, smartlandbuyers.com. It's one of my sponsors. Avery, good to have you aboard, man. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? Good to talk to you, man. Uh, we did a show the other night about, and I was uh, referencing you and Land, and I pinned your information at the top of the um, um, uh, the comments. I'm not sure if you got any, any traction, but um, uh, what's going on, man? Smartlandbuyers.com, please. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. I seen that, and I got your email as well. Yeah, I appreciate that. What's cracking with you, man? Nothing much, man. I'm back just to um, give you. A listeners the opportunity again uh, once again where we have huge deals um, as you know we're probably one of the only places that offers real estate at mm -hmm. 250 down 250 a month no right. credit um, checks um, very low down payments mm -hmm. uh, we have infill lots um, residential lots throughout the the country in some of the major cities um, so just come in here just let them know take advantage of the opportunity to do so um, when I mentioned um, your your platform and our affiliation the other a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about the documentary Silver Dollar Road. Um, uh, if, are you familiar with that in North Carolina and, and the property that was seized by the county and two men that served eight years in jail? Familiar with that? No, I'm not familiar with that. When you get time, man, please. Or, or I'll send you the link. Uh, Silver Dollar Road. Um, what you do is so important. It's it's so necessary. And folks, this is Avery, who I'm talking to on the screen. Please uh, halt this man if you're even thinking about purchasing raw land. Um, it, it's real sad that that many uh, African Americans, ADOS, FBA, whatever you consider yourselves to be, um, have been left land and who don't understand, you know, how valuable land is, raw land. And this documentary, Silver Dollar Road, um, uh, it, it's it, it's um, a very common story here in America. But, um, yeah, when you get time, check it out. 
Hey, also something that I want to you and I to talk about in front of my listeners. Um, um, the HOA fees, if there are HOA fees, home home association owner, pardon me, association fees, um, they vary from county to county, state to state. Do you assist with that HOA fees? That knowledge? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a, a, lot, a lot of the lots. Not not even a lot. I, I've never um, owned a piece of not real estate, but vacant land that it that, you know that's has HOA fees. Um, a lot of them are single family lots, so usually it's it's pretty rare to to have that in a single family lot, especially in some of the major cities that we've dealt with. Well, it, it's um, I don't know if it's a necessarily a new thing, but uh, some of these communities that are developing and and you know they they do have these small hoa fees whether it's you know thirty dollars a month or 150 dollars a month or even four hundred dollars a month um it's something that uh i think people need to just be aware of um you know but uh, what you do man again is, is so very necessary any specials or things that uh, you're working on with regards to different states that you want to tell people about yeah. Um, so right now we're currently running the no down payment, right? So okay. usually, you know, as you know, we usually do the, the low down payment of 250, uh, 250 down and 250 a month. So we're actually waiving that for the, the rest of this month. Nice. Um, and then the, the monthly payments are 250. Uh, we don't do any credit check. Um, this is actually secured through um, the actual property itself. So mm-hmm. that's why we're able to go around having to do any credit checks. Um, as far as uh, H- the HOA situation, I'm, I don't recommend uh, you know buying any, any type of real estate with HOA fees um, as that can you know actually go up and down throughout the time of your ownership. And I've yeah. seen that yeah. you know, go crazy. So I, I, I highly recommend um, if you're buying real estate, um, it's, it's, not, it's not the best idea. No, I, I I hear you loud and clear. Um, the reason why I mentioned that is because I was looking at some waterfront property in these areas where they are developing, um, um, and and I noticed HOA fees, and I said, really, <laughs> what the fuck, you know? But like you said, uh, it's not something that should be uh, there, but um, just something to to be cautious of. Yeah, yeah, it it really is. Um, I've I've seen people literally abandon. Uh, properties that they own because the HOA fee is so high, right. they they can't they can't even sell it. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Yeah. Um. Are you selling land? I know you are in Florida. Yes. Anything you want to mention about Florida? Because uh, most people don't know that Florida has no income tax, and it's always been a great place for people to purchase land, homes, um, and other things. And are you moving any properties in Florida? Yeah, so as you know, from the time that I, I, I began advertising with you, um, we were heavy into Florida um, and throughout the pandemic and just the re- recent um, you know, rise in, in homes and the migration that's happening to Florida yeah. and places like Texas, the value of property there has skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. So um, the way we, you know, these are investment vehicles as well. It's not just property ownership, but you also got to look at it as investment vehicles. So we try to go places where there's a, you know, a, a greater room for appreciation. So right now we're um, in the Midwest, um, heavy in Detroit currently. Um, Florida is a great place to buy, um, but right now the prices are pretty high um, in Florida. So right now we're looking at Detroit, the Midwest area. Prices okay. are still at, uh, at, you know, at a great place, and you can actually grow and you know have some appreciation happen and just for your investment that you're making now. I went all the way down, man, through St. Petersburg, uh, Clearwater, uh, Tampa, of course. Um, then I went back up to Tallahassee. Uh, oh, God, I forget the name of the other place. Pensacola. Do you know what place I really like in Florida? Um, uh, 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 Panama City. The goddamn the, the water is so blue. And I was uh, I might try and well, holler at you, of course, but uh, get some land in Panama City. Goddamn water is blue as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Yeah, now Florida is a great place. Yeah. Florida is a great place. Um, and, and even just the 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 lack of restrictions on uh, the zoning uh, right. is, is beautiful in Florida, right? So there's a lot of places, especially yeah. some of the major cities that we, we all live in, 
there's so many restrictions as far as zoning, which you're able to put on the property, which you're not able to put, um, as opposed to going to places like Florida where it's more relaxed. Um, not everywhere, of course, but most places are more relaxed. So these are things that you want to consider, especially if you're considering building on these properties. Yeah, yeah. Folks, I'm talking to Avery from smartlandbuyers.com. If you reach out to him and you do any type of business with him, I will give you 50% off on a 30-day promo right here on the Star Report. I say again, 50% off if you do any business with Avery, smartlandbuyers.com. Please go check out his platform. Talk to this man. He's very knowledgeable. He can give you a – do you give free consultations? Yes, Avery? Yeah, yeah. They can um, They can give me a call at 202-600-8481. Um, they can even text that number. Um, I'm usually available during normal business hours as well um, on that on that phone number. Okay. Um, but, yeah, just give me a call. Go on to the website. Uh, a lot of our current um, inventory is on the website as well. Uh, like I said, for the rest of the month, we're doing no down payment. Payments are as low as 250 a month uh, until the property is paid off. Uh, okay. So you essentially, and there's zero interest. Um, there's no interest. We don't charge any type of interest on um, when you when you buy the property itself. So you're you're essentially taking um, advantage of today's prices nice. and finishing paying it off nice. for over two three years and having the appreciation. Nice, nice, Avery. Good to talk to you, man. I will get your banner up uh, as soon as I take my break. All right, all right. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Okay. One of my sponsors, Avery from smartlandbuyers.com. All right, let's, let's get back to the telling and the snitching. Troll babies, anybody want to um, guess who may have tipped the scale on Diddy? I'm, I'm, I'm saying 50. I'm saying 50 who works with them boys. You know, put some shit in the game. He's a good nigga, 50. I mean... Never bought me a fucking cup of coffee, but he's a good nigga. I don't think Jay-Z would have anything to benefit by way of, you know, telling on, telling on Sean. They both call each other Sean. That's how cool they've been over the years. You guys know this? They both call each other Sean. Yo, Sean, Sean, Sean. It's, it's like a bromance. But 50, who is a fucking troll, no ifs, ands, or buts, I think he may have, you know, put some shit in the game. 50 is from that real dirty uh, Southside Jamaican Queens mindset. It's not enough that I succeed, but everyone else must fail. You guys know who said that? It's not enough that I succeed, but everyone else must fail. That's, that's how 50 moves. Baker, thank you again for your donation, sir. Yes, I'm telling tonight. G give me some other some other people to tell on, huh? Oh, uh, uh, Diddy used to spend money with Hot 97, MS Communications. He spent money with them. Payola! Huh? Paying niggas. Paying for campaigns. Sending people on trips. You guys remember the line back in the days on your hot nine seven every day? That's my word. He owned that station. And they did Wendy Williams dirty once upon a time. AGTV, I got your donation. Okay. He says, uh, what's going on with Puff in Miami? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pacing around Miami Airport. After the raid. Pay, there he is right there. Mm. I got to get this little nigga out of here. I got to I gotta, gotta get this nigga on the plane. Did, did he take the little nigga home? Or, or did they kill him and drop the body off in the fucking ocean? Look at Diddy. Oh, that's my guy, man. <laughs> Killer, where are you, girl? She says, love you, pups. Killer, are you, you you got some tea? What's popping? Holla at me. Thank you for your support as always. Look at that. My my beautiful alleged daughter, Spend Scroll up in here, huh? Uh, Forever Maryland, what are you sending me? I, I, I can't do a whole lot of extra shit right now. 
Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know about the uh, the psychic. Supposedly, she predicted this would happen months ago. Niggas been talking about this for decades. F- fuck some some goofy ass white bitch, uh, as if you know she she's the only one that saw this. Niggas saw this decades ago. At some point, this nigga's going down. Pensacola tapping in. Yes, no, maybe. Area code 850. I'm on one. 850. Are you there? Please don't get the stumbling and fumbling. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Let's bring in area code 646. Diddy on the run. Are you ready? 646. Yes, no, maybe. Yo, Detective Lopez. Yes, sir. Right here. What's <laughs> cracking? You got no You got snitches on the line tonight. Can, can you make the adjustments, sir? It sounds like uh, you're in a tunnel or something. I want to hear what you're saying, please. Yeah, I, I'm on an African headset. That's what it is. Okay. Well, I, please don't kill the vibe. Can you make the adjustments so we can talk? I got you. I got you. I just want to shout out my presence. Let's get him out of here, man. You got to fix the string on your fucking can, and then you're trying to do shout-outs. I've never done a shout-out in my life, my nigga, but thank you for your call. Uh, let's bring in every code. 347, good evening. Diddy, the rise and fall. Are you there? I came up. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. It's cracking, man. I came up, man. I came up. Pack up. Oh, it's crazy, because the 25th, what is it, 25th year of uh, Life After Death? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's the biggie, man. So, I don't know, though. I do think it's um, 50, though. 50 mm-hmm. might, he might be, you know what I mean? Like, so, I don't know. What are you doing, sir? You, you know, what, what are you up to? Your speech is uh, cool and cool. a little sporadic. You okay? You okay? Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? Oh, we we hear you. We hear you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We hear you. Oh, no, I didn't even. Yeah, I just. Did right. Did you put a little cut on that? Put a little cut on that, man, and take your time. You. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the Bobby Brown jaw going. <laughs> nah, nah, but um. Yeah, I just I think it's fifty though. It could be fifty, man. Like, yo, he. Because remember, he used to write for him, so mm. who knows? You know? Yeah, he could have been, you know. He but, been holding a vendetta. He been holding a vendetta, you know. Yeah, so who knows if he traumatized or anything? You feel me? So I don't traumatized know. the nigga, huh? <laughs> so, who knows? That, that, that was back when Fifty was signed to Columbia. You know, he he, he, he was a fat yeah, nigga. Yeah. he was a fat nigga back in those days. He probably came over to Daddy's house and D dot them niggas sitting around. <laughs> D dot oh D dot's my nigga. D dot them niggas sit, sitting there clowning fifty. He was a fat nigga then, you know. Did he probably pulled out his dick, pulled out his dick in front of niggas? See, yo, yo, write the rhymes, man. I'll piss on, I'll piss on you, nigga. Write the fucking and, rhymes. And you gotta remember. Hmm? And then game was signed with him too, so like game was and like. Then, bo- never mind game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to fifty. Work. Columbia Records when he put out the track "How to Rob." Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. How to rob? And then he wrote. Well, he wrote. He went. He went to Daddy's house. Let's get it. Right? Did, did he walk around like like like? Uh, what was the guy's name from uh, the Five Harpies? Was it Big Red? The nigga. Uh, was it Big Red? Big Red. Uh, I'm on my '96 baby, so um, okay, okay, okay. Well, Might have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just know he wrote like "Let's Get It." He wrote that, right? Right, right, right. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, I know fifty wrote that. So yeah. did he pull out his dick? I'll piss on you, nigga. You ain't now. Nah, you ain't. You ain't getting no who, mechanical royalties, nigga. I'm gonna give you five racks. Who knows again? Yeah. Give you five racks and get the fuck on, nigga. I'll piss on you. And the shit. The yeah, shit, man. Fifty never got over that. He be going. He be going in, man. Like yo, like let it go, bro. Like city a gangster, man. Like you been know you know. Deed out. I'm snitching. You told me that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yo, yo, who knows, man? Bro. All right, so I gotta go. You're killing my vibe. Every- you killing my vibe. Get your goofy ass out of here. You make it sound like he's sitting there on the power powder. Yeah. <sighs> I'm 
telling tonight. I'm telling. Miss Ruth, I got your email. Thank you so much. Russell Simmons shocked after being served lawsuit in Bali. Yeah, Russell's a good nigga, man. Good nigga, you know. He used to give me a lot of fat farm clothing and shit like that. Cardigan sweaters and good guy, man. Never cut me a check, but a good nigga, man. Good nigga. Two-tone, I got you donation. Star salute. The show was wild. <laughs> Sir, I'm unhinged. You know this already. <laughs> the commissioner got you donation. Kick in the door, waving the 4-4. You already know. Oh, your papa don't hit me no more. Yeah, man, that nigga was on that shit back in the days. 50 scarred. And I truly believe he may have been the nigga to... to to, to set the uh, Homeland Security up and to go out there. He doesn't stop going there, did he? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll check that, that out later. Thank you so much. Uh, Jell, we got your other donation. Business is business. What are the cho- what are the charges? Well, right now they're talking about um sex- sexual trafficking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, who are you? D D E D E. You're asking me a question, but I but I don't see your uh, your donation. I'm not your friend, homie. Don't just f- send me random fucking emails. Uh, okay, hey, what's what's cracking? Okay, I can't call in. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, we have all the updates. Thank you guys. We have all the updates. Pacing around the airport. This we know, but but he he got on the plane and got the fuck out of here. He got out of Dodge, okay? I'm looking for uh, this female who said she was a sponsor. But um, for some reason, I don't see her number. Area code 623, good evening. Diddy's on the run. What's going on, sir? The jig is up. Are you there? Good evening. Man, wild tonight. Wild, wild tonight. Hey, so Diddy, as you say, we all know, is a gangster, savage, running amok, causing terror. I'm ready to see him if he gets to the stand on court TV, flip like Nino Brown, ratting on everybody. And you remember the first person he blamed? Christopher Williams. Justin's daddy. It was a smart man. <laughs> if all this happens and he gets on set on the well, stand. Wasn't that Alby Shore's uh, son? You said Christopher Williams. I'm, I'm confused. Isn't that Justin Williams? Isn't that his daddy? I, I don't know. I forget. Thought it was, but, but what well, I was. Well, up- well, why are you giggling, though? I mean, what are you giggling for? Uh, I, my apologies. I giggles too. But who could really use the clout right now that everybody is going against in the public that I would love to see on the stand? Jennifer Lopez, get up there, girl. Tell us what happened that night. Let's get your goofy ass out of here. You sound like you teabag Puerto Ricans for dime bags of cut. Fuck wrong with you. Huh? We sitting here having a good discussion. Weirdo. Smartlandbuyers.com. Uh, and where's my... Okay, guys, there's my information for advertising um, and other things with regards to, you know, um, th- this thing that we do and how we connect and how we uh, help each other, you know? Coke Thoughts at 3 a.m. I got you donation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Star, I remember you. You aired Diddy out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got Asian women to change my linen after I done blazed and hit them. (laughs) What song was that? I forget. (laughs) We played that little clip on the Star and Buck Wild show every day for like a week. 
until the Asian, some fucking Asian newspaper said, whoa, whoa, what are you? <laughs> they, they had to re-edit that song on Hot 97. Uh, Bad Boy issued an apology. What song was that, Troll Babies? <laughs> I got Asian women to change my linen after I done blazed and hit them. It's my nigga titty, though, man. <laughs> um, D, bravado. What does Suge Knight have to say? <laughs> I don't, don't get me started on Suge Knight, man. Uh, William Bobo. My question is, why now? Them people been knew what Diddy be up to. They gave him the power to do it, and you know who they are. Deeper than rap. Okay. Why, why do people always say, yo, why now? Well, why not now? <laughs> why not now? The, the feds move and, and the Homeland Security move at their pace. It, you know, paperwork has to be signed. It's protocol. They have to make sure that when they go up in a place, it's, you know, uh, are they looking for something? Is, uh, are there warrants to seize property or is it just to, to get in there in search of, some, of, of, of a misdoing? Yeah, I mean, why now? Why not now? Junior, got your donation. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Guys, give me a second. I just want to make sure I'm going um, Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. Guys, thank you for the updates on Diddy. Uh, you know, one second. Yeah, he he's on the run. He's down in Antigua. <laughs> he got out of Dodge. <laughs> okay. Now he ain't fucking Russell right now. Not like that. I'm sorry. Uh, Sir Shy got your donation. Rory and Lucani eating grilled giraffe sliders. Okay, that was cute. That was cute. Uh, Newt says, uh, boy hands and nails, not done feeding. FBJ, wake up. Okay, okay. Let me see if uh, Florida Boy Jay's tapping in, guys. Hang on a second. Okay. Avery, salute, man. It's my sponsor, Avery, who just tapped in. <sighs> Hold on, hold on. Area code 203. Good evening. Uh, the rise and fall of Sean P. Diddy Combs is our discussion this evening. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here, Star. How are you, man? Cracking. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, um, no, I just saw the update on, yeah, um, they're saying Diddy took his plane tracker off. So I guess wherever, yeah, he's in Antigua, but he took his plane tracker off. So that, that thing takes off again. I don't think they could be able to track where he is. But, man, he's on the run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. But, no, yeah, I, I sent you a um, donation at 940. Thank you, man. Thank you. Where do you want to start? Yeah. No, no, you know, I always support the machine. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's going to be... I don't. I don't know. You said damn fifty. Fifty might. Fifty might have said something, man. Fifty might have. Fifty. Fifty's a rat, sir. That's on everything. Yeah. That's on everything, my nigga. Yeah, fifty. Fifty huh? been holding a grudge on Diddy for years, man. So he just he just took the right. That's a dirty South Side nigga. Power. Don't ever forget that. Yeah. Dirty nigga from South Side Jamaica fifth, Queens, huh? If Fifth did drop that line with R. Kelly saying, "Let me find out R. Kelly fucking with Bow Wow, bitch." Ooh. You know, talk, did he mention the tape? Right. They sitting there reminding. Right. Yeah. So Fifth might have did it. Fifth might have, right. you know, dropped something on Diddy. But hey man, that's that's how putting they... putting out audio on Young Buck, huh? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. But yeah, Young that's... Buck crying, crying and apologizing, yeah. and you still put the audio out. Yeah, man. The but fuck? yeah, I guess that Fifty Laws of Power, man. He really lived by that, man. You know he. He he want to destroy you until there's nothing left, man. He don't know. He don't care how you gonna do it. He just gotta get it. Gotta get it done. But man, this... nigga was in Nashville. Hang on a second. You see, he just 
I mean, we, we okay. We aight, you know, but nigga was in Nashville, I think, last year, uh, uh, G-Unit, him, him and Yayo on stage. You know, that, that, that yeah. that's Young Buck's town. You couldn't invite the nigga on stage? Nah, he, he said Buck's done, man. 50 think Buck's done. Once once you ain't no good for fifth, you ain't got nothing. You can't bring him nothing. He can't. That's that dirty queen shit, man. You, you're in Cashville on stage. Yeah, man. Fifth, fifth will kick you while you're down, man. He'll kick you while they lowering you into the ground. Fifth, fifth don't care, man. I guess that's how he move, you know? That's why I think Yayo on um, play him close because Yayo know. But, man, it, it's, you know, did he get he getting what he deserved? When will Young Buck crash out and just run down with the blammer, man? Let's go there tonight, man. When will Young Buck just say, you know man. what? Fuck it. I'm running down. Shit, once they, once, once they take Buck's house in that, in that 615 Cashville chain, Buck, Buck, that's it. Buck going to lose it. He going to call 50 up, cry, and say, hey, man, let's meet somewhere, man. And then, and then probably line him up. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, man, it just Banks quiet too, man. You know, I don't know. Fifth just that's just how he moves, man. He 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 got to crush you, man. He, he don't got the problem. He don't got no conscience, man. He just that's how he moves, man. But yeah, yeah. It's cold doggy dog world, man. Let's pull it back to Diddy for a second, man. Sean Combs, yeah, huh? Yeah. Born uh, nineteen sixty nine. He's an old nigga like me, you know. Fifty four years old, yeah, man. yeah. Shoot, I'm, I just turned 44, man. But yeah, man, I'm from I'm from I'm an 80s baby, so you know I'm from that era, man. I've seen everything go unfold with Big and Pac, and you know it. It, it might have been a couple of people dropping dimes on Diddy, but I think yeah, Fifth was the the main character. But yeah. it, it's just man, just I'm just waiting to see what else unfolds. You know, Diddy might be the first domino of of many pieces to fall. Yeah. You know. All right. I appreciate the call, man, and make sure you pray for Kirk Burroughs. You got me? Oh, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a pray, man. I'm Thank a you, pray, man. but salute, man. And keep salute. doing your thing, man. Okay. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm telling. I'm telling on niggas, man. Okay, guys, th thank you. We'll, we'll get to Russell Simmons tomorrow. We ain't worried about Russell Simmons tonight. We, we focused on Sean Combs, huh? Get to all that Russell shit tomorrow. He's He's down in Bali. There's no, there's no extradition. He ain't really worried. He's sitting around there, you know, not washing for six days, <laughs> breathing, talking that yoga shit. He's a good guy, man. <laughs> now, let me just say this. When Russell's money runs out, <laughs> they're going to get him the fuck up out of Bali. When his money runs out... <laughs> You'll find him back here in the States somewhere because he he's uh, was suing or he is still suing uh, uh, Kamara. Yes, no troll babies. What's going on with that? With uh, Russell and all that, uh, all that extra shit. T. Neal, I got your donation. Thank you so much. He says, appreciate you, fam. DJ Tony Neal. Hey, man, salute. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Tony Neal. Uh, Garcia. Crazy that life after death dropped on this day in 97. <sighs> it's all a conspiracy, sir. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, I got your donation, darling. She says, <laughs> keeping us in the loop. <laughs> Charlotte, I, I haven't even begun to tell. Hmm? What about Loon? What about Loon, huh? Did he fuck that nigga's life up? <laughs> Had that nigga... <laughs> slow down, Star. Slow down, huh? Did he fuck that nigga's life up? Thank you, Charlotte. I just... I'm going too fast here. Uh, hey, Doris. Uh, now, Doris, I, now, Russell didn't send no, no, no feds at... Uh, I don't know, but, but thank you, Doris. No. No. Brent, I got your donation. Feds did a sweep. Future voice. So, so this was Homeland Security. Okay. <laughs> they came, came in with the artillery, ready to shoot any and all niggas. Ready to shoot. 
Oh, okay, okay. Okay. The president of the Real Nigga Network, Florida Boy J. Good evening, sir. How are you? Hey, hey, Real Real Nigga Network. We got to tap in, man. I, I I was told Diddy and his sons were flushing dildos like it was crack when they heard the feds at the door. You know, um, the, the, the nigga, uh, uh, niggas is allegedly talking about he he sent the dummy plane out, had the niggas tracking the wrong plane. They tried to pull <laughs> niggas off the plane. He wasn't on the plane. Right, right. Got his sons locked up. Real boss moves. Real right. boss moves. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta appreciate a real nigga when we see one, and 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 Diddy's one of the real out of here. You know what I'm saying? Shot a chick in the face, got a nigga Ooh. to take the charge. Oh, you know, got, 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 got lady stomped out. Still kept the bag in '93. Mm. Got nigga shot in the car. Took, took they publishing. Yeah. Ain't a real gangster than Diddy. Right. You know. Yeah. And uh, City College. I can go back even further. City College. You know. People getting trampled to death. Sheep. Prayers to Father MC, man. Prayers to Father MC, man. Listen, at, at the end of the day, man, we knew this was going to come, but until, like, the Jimmy Alvines, Clyde Davis, you know, uh, Lucian Grange, Leo Cohen, Todd Moskowitz, until these guys also get hit with certain charges, the black community should really be celebrating because it was really happening. Well, with- Todd Moskowitz and I and Leo Cohen, we, we're, 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 we're very cool. So I need you to slow down all, all that black, you know, all that black hey, anger. You know, you're right. You're, <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, sorry, you're right. Because if they call my phone for a bag, yeah. I'm selling you this out too. So let me slow yeah. my dumb ass down. Todd Moskowitz is my nigga for real, for real. And so is Leo. But hey. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, listen, what we're... What we're seeing right now is they are slowly yeah. taking out the last few uh, uh, moguls in hip hop, and soon there will be none to tell the story. It's going to be like how they did the Freaknik doc. They're going to do a hip hop doc in about 20 years. It's going to be nothing but white small hats telling the story of, of black culture. You know what I'm saying? And um, at the end of the day, we can celebrate it, but I don't know if anybody else brought up on your show yet, but today is the anniversary of the Life After Death album, March 25th, 1997. Go ahead, go ahead. And to see Diddy get raided and his empire fall Mm -hmm. on the anniversary of the Life After Death album is the universe doing its work. You know, Diddy really lost about over $100 million in deals this last year. I don't know if he sold any of his homes, but this was coming. He was going to have to downsize. I think he put things into place. So when the feds came knocking, hey, hey, Justin, the, uh, what's the other one? Hey, 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 it's time for y'all. I, I don't really want to bring the kids into it, man. I mean, like, you know, I'm sure every father w- 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 would feel, you know, pain seeing seeing your your son in handcuffs. I don't, I don't want to try and clown that. You feel me? Oh, no, no. But they're, they're adults now, and Diddy couldn't take them with him mm. because if he did, They'll probably be on Bali going live, doing too much, uh, mm. uh, uh, leaving foot tracks, good leaving point. digital footprint. Good point, good point. To, good to, point. to line Diddy up. Diddy 50, he ain't going to jail. He ain't getting locked up for nobody. He, it, it's time, if I got to go to Bali, if I got to go to where they're not going to extradite me, I got to go by myself. The kids, y'all got it. Y'all got the mansion. Y'all got yeah. whatever's left. I can survive where $20 is about 2000 where I'm about to go. And, and, and we'll never hear from me again. I, I don't want Diddy to get caught. I want him to escape into the abyss and be in Cuba with Pop okay. and, and the rest of these niggas that supposedly got knocked off. And it's funny that his check... H- hang, hang on, hang on. Florida boy, Jay, Tupac is not in Cuba. Slow that down. Tup- He's not? <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is that what you just said? <laughs> you said Pac in Cuba? What you said... Yeah, man, I thought Pop was in Cuba, man, but look. that nigga's dead, sir. And according that, to you, he's not. That nigga's dead. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, damn. <laughs> well, like, well, like I said, man, it was just funny how his jet trajectory, the flight schedule, was going to the same place that Epstein and a few other people had their raw yeah. news on the island. Yeah. So I, we need, to, you know, zero in on that area. But I don't want to. I don't want to go too long on the topic. I just want to call in. And kick another nigga's back in. There's a nigga wake up call. I don't know if he did the got him, 
when you first start the show. Uh, I, I mean, you know, we don't got him, got him yet. I mean, he's not in cuffs, and and uh, you know, I mean, uh, he's on the run right now. So, so I'm, I'm, you know, kind of, kind of pacing myself. But uh, it, it is shine time on the nigga. It's shine time. It's shine time on Diddy, man. His chief of staff deleted uh, their Instagram. Yeah. You know, as they should, um, as they should, yeah. you know, uh, this is, I, I'm ready for the 50 cent post, you know, it is what it well, is. He's been going ape shit all day. Has him. Mean, I don't follow him on social media, but I'm, I'm sure he has been going ape shit, you know? Yeah. He, he, he probably, ha I just haven't went on his page yet. You know, we got footage of Diddy pacing back and forth at the Miami airport, yeah, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a beautiful moment. They're not really, I don't think the, the feds came in. To find any evidence, I think they came in to hide evidence. So I'm going to let your callers and everybody else let that go over your head. They're not coming to find evidence. They're coming to hide evidence. Homeland Security, to be precise, is who ran down. Homeland Security. Yes, Diddy, like we all know, just like they did a Conrad Murray, Michael Jackson, we're always going to find a black fall guy that we're going to blame, we're going to uh, 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 let we're gonna we're gonna sit we're gonna let you catch one of the ponds while the big fishes swim around the crime scene just like you're doing any other uh, high level business. Gotcha, gotcha. Good to talk to you, Florida boy yes, Jay. Sir. Absolutely, man. Have a yes, great sir. night. I appreciate. Thank you, it. thank you. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Goddamn, my dick, my nigga Diddy on the run, on the run. Guys on the screen, Instagram.com forward slash Kai and I Music. Another one of my sponsors, Kai and I. Kai and I is the daughter of one of my friends. Please go check out Kai and I on Instagram. Okay. She's an artist. I want to be respectful, but, um, you know, it, it, it's the newer generation, you know? Hang on a second. I'm looking for Kai and I's information. And hopefully we can get Kai to tap in to talk about her music. Black Barbie out of the 973. Okay. We're trying to get Kai uh, to 2,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, she's got music. And yes, she's got a tool. You, know, you, you guys are different. You, you guys are different these days. So who the, who the fuck am I <laughs> to, to try and clown anybody? Okay? But there's the Instagram link. Go there. Make sure you say that old nigga star sent you. <laughs> Brent, I got your donation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, Sharif, peace. Sharif says no ditty. Yes, guys, they're using no ditty now instead of saying pause. But I still like pause, man. You know, salute to a uh, killer cam, uh, Mace. Uh, I, I, I've taken my foot off the gas when it comes to Mace, you know, because um, I fuck with killers so heavy, you know. I met Mace once upon a time. We didn't really have any words, and I, I just, I'll leave it at that. But, uh, uh, and also Dame Dash. D Dame is the, um, um, the inventor of that whole pause thing. Pause, pause, pause. Met Dame Dash one time, you know, <coughs> that was on the, um, uh, the set of the film, uh, what was that, Paper Soldiers. And he and I exchanged emails, uh, God, years later, you know, that there was a great rumor about me and Dame Dash, and, you know, just, but believe what you want, but um, um, we must give credit where credit is due with regards to Dame Dash and that whole pause uh, um, vernacular. Let me just say that, okay? Um, okay, okay. What area code? Hold on a second. I'm, uh, I'm on, okay, okay. What, what area code? What area code? 
Nathaniel, I got your donation. Diddy said, fuck them kids. Gas the plane. Wow. Wow. You niggas got to fend for self. I'm out of here. <laughs> Benny Blanco got your donation. Star, can you snitch about Diddy? Oh, well, well, sir, there's nothing really there, you know? There's nothing there, man. I mean, I just it's, 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 some of these bums, you know, from back in the days, just it, they're bums, you know. And and uh, yeah, that, that's a waste of my time, Benny. But thank you so much. That person's a bum. John Flowers got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, hey, Penelope, thank you for your donation. Hold on a second. Uh, who's on the line here? Jell, thank you for your support. Is that Jell? Area code 770. This Diddy situation is BS, man. This is about one thing. It's about clawing back wealth. They let's, are going to bankrupt this man let's go. and break him. Let's That's go. what it's all about. This stuff has been in the ether for years, and it's never been, nothing's been done about it. Cassie comes out and says, you know, what people don't realize, she was trying to push a book initially. Right. And Diddy said, I'm not biting. Right. Then she wants money. He goes, I'm not biting. Then she goes public. No one wants to talk about that. This would not be an issue if that was not put out there. And our people run with it. Back in Cassie, oh, we got to, you know, have her back. Cassie got that bag. You ain't heard from her since, man. And it's like now it's open season for the man. He done pissed somebody off. He was a useful tool at one time. He's not useful any longer, so he's going to go down. It's as simple as that. In, re in regards to him being on the run, he's not on the run, man. He's just circling the wagons. Okay. He's going to go sit down, get with his legal team, um, see what the play is going to be, and then go from there. This will never go to court. There's too many people involved. Because really, what are the crimes? Everybody that's been involved in this situation, unless they're underage, has been complicit. You, people say, oh, publishing. Man, they were contracts in place. Oh, Kim Porter. Kim Porter was done dealing with Puffy, what, 20, 30 years ago? She kept dealing with them all the way up to, to she died because there was money there. They also have children together, sir. Beautiful children. Sir, 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 they have children together. So let's be respectful with regards to that. But uh, I hear you. I'm, I'm not mad at your, your theory. Um, but let's go back for a second. Let's go back for a second. Cassie, yes, Cassie came and she loaded up the fucking the cannon, right? Cass, Absolutely. Cassie had receipts, and uh, we have heard from Cassie since she settled her case because her and Ryan Leslie have reconnected, and she's talking about putting out music. So, so even if you know, even if she she ran, what, the, what were the receipts though? Hang on, hang on. Well, well sir, it was in the lawsuit, and whatever the receipts were, did he felt the need to settle? He settled, sir. He settled. So. Go back yeah. for a second because no. I, I appreciate your, your donations and, and I, I'm going to give you the last word. So no, I, I appreciate it. I just I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying that this is all horse shit. It's all horse shit. Yes. I believe. So. I, yes. They, they're going to break the man financially. He's done. Okay. Well, this is about clawing back wealth. Right. I mean, Diddy was a very wealthy man. He was a useful tool for the Democrats at one time, getting out the vote, this, that, and another thing. He would do what needs to be done. Right. But Diddy got too big for his britches. He he was too exposed. And now it's, every dog has his day, sir. Yes, if we on real nigga. There it time, is. We on real nigga. Time. He overplayed. He he overplayed his hand, and now he's gonna pay the price. Do you think that he's uh, somewhere in Antigua hiding the boy, or do you think I'm just I'm doing too much? You you're doing too much right now, but I understand. You know, you got to pay the bills, so on and so forth. He's getting with his legal team right now, getting his mind right, and see what the play's gonna be. <laughs> Or, or, or <laughs> maybe he's maybe they landed in Antigua, according to TMZ, to, to bury a body. Maybe the boy was from, um, I don't know, St. Vincent or St. Croix. You know, I know he got himself a, a little young nigga, a smooth skin, you know, <laughs> tight bottom. Oh, you know? the crazy thing about it, like I said, if there's no underage people involved here, there's no crimes. You know, I mean, the, the music industry, this is what's done out there. Sex is had everywhere. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. When there's money involved, people are going to flock to it. Hmm. Diddy was living a life. 
Yeah. But he was just too flagrant with it. And now it's time to pay the price. Got himself a little high yellow nigga from St. Kitts. Green eyes. <laughs> green eyes. Sorry, you have a good night. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Got himself a little high yellow nigga from St. Kitts. Huh? Little nigga jumping around in flip flops. A little nigga start thinking too much. How much money you give Cassie? None of your business, playboy. Close your mouth before I slap you in it. Hmm? Little nigga got to thinking, recording shit. Then one day he sends Diddy a fucking DM of, 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 Diddy, of Diddy plowing the little nigga. And here we are. Huh? I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Give, give me some other names from them bad boy niggas back in the days. Niggas who, niggas who have seen things, huh? Oh, them niggas seen a lot. Them niggas seen a lot. And, 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 and what's his name? Uh, Mark Curry. Mark, I, I've never met Mark Curry. I mean, salute to that that guy. He's 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 talking, but Mark Curry spoke about um, um, spiking bottles, right? Niggas spiking bottles and shit like that, all that crazy shit, huh? Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, uh, one twelve. Uh, it's just rumors. It's, there's rumors about everybody. There's rumors about me. Yo, yo, they set his car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> crazy shit um it, it, there's rumors about uh the guys from 112 supposedly he was buck breaking one of those niggas i don't know um thank you joe for your donation again sir thank you so much all right um jay Wee's world <laughs> star please tell them niggas stop giggling I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's like some crazy shit. <laughs> um, how do I say your name? Jaisha? Did I say that right? Thank you for your donation, darling. You have a very pretty picture. She says, my favorite troll. Thank you so much. Miss Gaisha. Hopefully I said that right. Very nice name. Um, hey, Doris. Okay, Doris. Uh, She's Doris is sending me something else about okay, uh, Russell Simmons and Bali. Okay, Russell Simmons, surprise. Okay, well, well, listen, Russell's my nigga, man. I mean, but you know, Russell was on that dust back in the days, you know. Yes, he's in a different place now, he, he's breathing. <sighs> you know, they sit around, they smell, they pick their fucking feet. Everybody's smiling and talking that highfalutin uh, uh, tapioca pudding shit. But he was ruthless back in the days. I remember we were at a party one time. I think it was a Slick Rick party. And and I asked him a question because I was working at WIA at the time, Warner Electra Atlantic. And that nigga's breath smelled like raw sewage. I said, whoa, what the fuck? That was the dust. Okay, so he was served in Bali, and guys on the screen, www.frollyfusion.com. It's another one of my sponsors, frollyfusion.com. High-end <coughs> furniture and other accessories for your home, but at affordable prices. I say again, frollyfusion.com. If you spend any money there, uh, send me a screenshot, and I'll give you 30% off on a 30-day promo package in the Star Report. And you know what we do here. We supply you with analytics. We send you um, all sorts of uh, behind-the-scenes information, and we work with you by way of, you know, um, um, social media to achieve a common goal, okay? Frollyfusion.com. Please go there. Tell them I sent you. Um, hey, how do I say your name, darling? Phoenicia, thank you. 
Okay, she says, why am I so hard on mammies? Phoenicia, I'm, I'm actually harder on white women, but you know, a lot of times people don't really pay attention. I give I give white females hell. And, and, and just to be to be clear, um, I, I, <laughs> um, when it comes to white women, if I can't use a white bitch, then I have no use for her. White women are keys. I, I, if I can't put you in the door and turn that fucking door, you have no use to me. I'm, I don't sling free dick. I'm not going to help a white bitch find her G spot. Fuck out of here. Um, so, so, so you may think I'm harder on black women. Okay, but, but I, I'll, I'll give a black bitch a couple of chances. You know, I'll, she, she can make a couple of mistakes and I'll just, I'll, I'll cut her down verbally like a dry weed. But a white bitch, you know, <laughs> if you can't go get me something from your family or if you don't have a line of credit, fuck out of here. Don't ever forget that, okay? Let's go to area code uh, 954. Good evening. We're talking about Diddy, the rise and fall. Sean Combs, are you there? Take that, take that, take, take that. that. Take that, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, man. The late 90s was a wild era, man. Uh, I mean, can you picture him and R. Kelly just chilling in the celly? I mean, I didn't even mean to rhyme. <laughs> Mid nineties, also, because uh, what what year did um uh ecstasy come out when all those niggas were popping those pills? What year was that? She late nineties with the big timers. I don't know. A uh, uh, bone thug, ninety five. Okay. I was never into uh, ecstasy, but I remember. People were like really, you know, grooving off that shit, you know. Yeah, man, I'm I'm down here in nine five four. It's big down here in Miami. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, man. But uh, yo, did he, did he wild and man? Uh, do you oh. think he knew that these co- the feds were coming? Um, I, I think he might be sick, and when you're sick, you know, you you expect at some point in time for the the authorities to run down. You no, know, yeah, but but if you have a certain fetish, a want, need, and or desire, then then that takes precedent over you know facing the law. You know. Yeah, man, he did say f them kids. Oh, I don't know about that, but uh, you're in the. Uh, yeah. wh- where are you from? Uh, Florida uh, now. Where was his? I'm from Queens. What's that? I'm from Queens. Okay, and you you moved down to Florida. Yes, sir. How long have you been down there? Oh, three. I used to listen to you in 97, back in the day. I wasn't on the radio in the 90s, sir. I started doing radio in, oh. in March of 2000. 2000. Yeah, I was in the sixth grade. I would go down to the seven train. Stop the cap, sir. Huh. Stop the cap. No, I'm not capping. March of 2000. No, so I started doing radio in New York City. <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, man. Stop telling people, yo, yeah, yo, I used to listen to that nigga in the 90s. I was on radio in the 90s, sir. <laughs> Late 2000, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Same thing. All right, so. But yeah, um, man. Well, shout out. So, so, so they raided his mansion. Where was that exactly? I, I didn't do all that research. I saw so I think the, the right? LA mansion and then also Star Island. Mm, Star Island. Yeah. Yeah, they, got, they probably got some wild parties down there, some crazy tapes. Well, you got a, a lot of nasty Hispanic whores down there with um, HIV and um, chlamydia, Star Island. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. The clap. The famous clap. Yeah. I, I've been down there in the late 80s when I worked at Warner Electra Atlantic. I mean, I, I did promotion. I'm sure you know this already. And, um, you know, places like that where people are like, you know, all just, just getting high and partying. A lot of those girls, they do. They have chlamydia. They have a uh, uh, fucking HIV um, uh, and herp- herpes, herpes. Herpes. Yeah, I was big. Yeah, yeah. And then you have a lot of trick ass entertainers and celebrities. They go down there and and they're they're looking at something that they think is a fucking dime, but those bitches are sick demons. You know, now that you mention it, my demons. old boy used to work at Club Liz. And uh, Diddy used to rent out the whole top. Yeah. Uh, his parties were famous out there. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do down yeah, there, man. if you don't mind me asking? You moved down there from Queens. What, is, what are you doing? 
Florida. I'm a I'm a CRM administrator, uh, IT director. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. You took the family uh, down there. Took the family down there. No, nah, I was 16 when I moved down here. Oh, okay. The family, the family moved me. You know. Okay. Well, I appreciate Good the call, thing man. I got all that junk. Okay. Please don't Take call me easy. brother. <laughs> Please don't call me brother. But thank you for the call. Hang on a second, guys. Um, Alejandro. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, are you Alejandro from back in the days? <laughs> Folks, I've got a history out here. I, I don't run from shit. I don't run from anything by way of, uh, you know, uh, what I've done. Alejandro, yo, we was going to run down on you when you was on the radio. Well, well, thank you, sir. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> this ain't the radio. Um, and I prefer that you or some of you believe those old rumors. Uh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> that just tells me how old you are. And, and this audience here right now, the Star Report, they don't give a fuck. I've got nothing to hide. Believe me, if, if niggas ran down... I'd be the one to tell you. But know this. The truth. The truth. The only person to ever put hands on me in my fucking life was my older brother. In New Jersey. And he gave me such tune-ups to the point when, when I got to New York, I said, never again will I go through that type of shit. But, you know, believe the lies. It's fine, sir. Thank you for your donation. King Key, I got your donation star. Cassie's cave dwelling husband is the true mastermind behind this. And I done uh, smashed about 20 black queens uh, from that BLK dating app. Oh, okay. Salute. Luna Glotter sends it a donation star. Salute. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, the refrigerator that Jada Kiss spoke about has finally fallen for on Diddy. What a great guy, J.D. Kiss, man. He, he's one of my top three. Actually, pardon me, pardon me. J.D. Kiss has been my favorite rapper going on two decades. And at times, Killer Cam. Well, well, Killer's number two. Let's not get it fucked up. Killer's number two. But thank you, man. Thank you for, you know, your donation. Hey, Jen, Janet, are you tapping in? I feel like talking tonight, Janet. And Janet, thank you for your service. For those who don't know, Janet was in the U.S. Navy. Some people got it fucked up about Janet. Uh, yeah, yes, D Janet, we know all about Diddy pacing at the airport. We're, we're past that. We're past that, but thank you so much, Janet. Okay, uh, let's go back to the phone lines here. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Newark, New Jersey, tapping in. Are you really from Newark or Irvington? Eight six two. Peace, God. Um, I'm from neither. My parents did pretty good. I'm from South Orange, but um, okay. check it out. So peace, peace. I I want to yeah, peace, peace. Um, uh, check it out, man. Diddy is, is about to crash like the Hindenburg. Mm. This is so crazy that I'm over here thinking, you know who's really the the mastermind behind this? Gene Deal. I think Gene Deal pushed the button okay. because he's got to be somewhere laughing. He's been talking about this. I know a lot of people have been talking about this, but he's been. Him, Mark Curry. Um, I mean, and, and there's so many people who got affected by this. Like, what does G Depp think about this kind of thing? Like, these are people who were in this man's stratosphere and, you know, ultimately, you know, well, I don't want to say he was the cause of their demise, but they ended up crashing out too because they was around him. I think that he's done, man. He's going out with the likes of Dr. Malachi of New York, mm. Brother Paul Light. Oh, uh, uh, Je Je Jesse Jackson Jr. <laughs> oh, he, he's out of here, man. I think he's done. This is very sad to see. Stay with me. Stay with me. Um, I don't think Gene Deal, big Gene Deal, is anywhere laughing or smiling. I think having spoken to Gene over the years and, and having seen Gene back in the days when I was out there in them streets, um, <laughs> Gene had a lot to get off of his conscience. Again, if, if you've never heard me say this, Gene is an honorable man. He didn't just come out telling on Diddy because uh, of some type of player hating issues. 
Gene, Gene has a pension. He lives a good life, okay? He doesn't need mm-hmm. doesn't need pats on the back, but a lot of stuff that he has witnessed. And he stepped away from Diddy for a number of years because he just didn't want that type of bad energy. And I say that respectfully because Diddy and I have always been cool, even though we almost had a fight in Kevin Lyle's office. Okay, but that's some other shit. <laughs> no, no, I don't think Gene is is celebrating or is smiling. I think that 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 the pain within. And the truth, his truth that he has been speaking has finally reached a point where other people now, you're, you're, you're now understanding, if, if, you, if you follow me. Right. But, but go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I, I agree. I salute Gene Dill. I, but at the same time, it, it's, it's kind of hard for me because I root for black people all across the board, but I also salute people who just take, who have the courage to speak out. Like right. that's, Diddy has a lot of power, influence, and for somebody to speak out, you know, they're, 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 they're stepping on the front line, so to speak. So, yeah, I salute him, for sure. Well, Diddy's not black, sir. Diddy's not black. <laughs> what? Diddy's not black. Oh, okay. Diddy's, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Diddy's wealthy, sir. He's not black. He's wealthy. There's a difference. Oh, oh right, right, right. No. He's not nigger rich. He's wealthy. <laughs> So, so wealthy, you know, right. so you, I don't know if you're just hating on the man being wealthy, and if you are that, that's fine, that's fine. But um, um, you <laughs> no, know, I'm not. <laughs> what's that? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hating. It's just again, I was. I'm just saying, you know, from from the perception, I would say that Kitty was black, but no, yeah, I would agree that yes, well, he, he's wealthy. He's not black. No, phenotypically, phenotypically, he's black. But I assure you, and I say this with all due respect, if you moved next door to Diddy, he he would either try to sell or or, or before you moved in, he would try to uh, prevent you from moving in if you're not wealthy. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, you're, you're it, black. Yes. You no, know, you're black. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. But also, part and self, I, I, I don't I got sidetracked. I also don't think if it wasn't Gene Dill, it was uh, Deborah Crew. And if anybody doesn't know who Deborah Crew is, Deborah yeah, Crew is the CEO we, of. We, we know, we know who she is, sir. But uh, you know, well, that's well I'm just a lot of a lot of things seemed to happen when he was when he started speaking out against racism against that company versus uh, De Leon and what, whatever else he was had Syrah. And um, you know, when he started talking about racism, I think uh, yeah, some of those people got very upset. Including Deborah Crew, and that's another person of influence. But you know, yeah, people could do their research on her. You're you're, you're putting a racial twist on this, and that and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Do you? Uh, well, life is black and white. Life is black and white. Unfortunately, that's just the way things are. Do you live around black people? You said you're black. You live around black people. Um, people will call South Orange uh, a, di- a diverse town. That's how they would sell it. But um, my father lived in Brooklyn. South Orange, New Jersey. I know that town uh, well. I know that town well. Correct, correct. Right behind Seton Hall University. Mm-hmm. So, But that's where my mother stayed. So my father was in Brooklyn, and he was, around, he was in around, you know how Brooklyn is. It's all types of people. Crown Heights specifically. But, um, yeah, I'm around black people, white people, devils, so to speak, yeah. I thank you for the call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. I was going to go someplace else, but I just, you know, I don't always have to put my foot on the gas, you know. Whew. Who child, this is messy, huh? Diddy, Sean Combs on the run. He's on the jet, folks. He's on the jet. He's he's riding around like uh, what's the guy's name that was um, driving uh, O.J. Simpson in the Bronco? It was A.C. What was his name? <laughs> A.C. Cowlings. What was that nigga's name? <laughs> and the police would talk to him. He said, he said he, "You know me. I'm A.C." I, I pardon me, Al Cowling said, you know me, Al, 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 yeah, AC, you know me. 
yeah, Diddy, if you ask me, is right now flying around somewhere <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> a Draco in his lap, like OJ right now. Shit. Shit, you hating ass niggas, you know, sipping Casamigos. Thinking about sh should he just open the open the door mid flight, <laughs> or put the Drake on his mouth, pow, and fall out? Did he? Did he ain't going to no penitentiary with some of these bum ass niggas, huh? Real niggas don't want to go to jail, but we ain't scared to go to jail. I went to Rikers in the early eighties. I was disgusted. I said, this place fucking stinks. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Who do I tell on? And I did. Sheesh. Janet, thank you for your service, Janet. Thank you for tapping in. I got your emails. Thank you, Janet. Hi, Star. You doing good tonight? Jenna, I'm alive. I'm going to be 60 in May. I don't take no fucking meds. You know, I'm sm I'm smashing bitches half my age. I'm great. What's cracking? Cracking. Well, I have a theory. What's cracking? I wrote you an email earlier about Candace Owen and her theory with Michael Jackson and the bodyguard that was there with Diddy. And then at Michael Jackson's death, that um, he was present in Michael um, Jackson's death, I think that's what did it. I think they, I think America didn't give a damn about all the stuff that um, Diddy was doing. They was like, oh, we've seen it before. But when that Candace Owens say, hey, I'm going to tell the truth, I think Diddy had something to do with the Michael Jackson passing. And I think America got on it, hmm. and they didn't have nobody free. So they sent the Homeland Security because that's a terrorist. That's a terrorist threat right there. Mm. It took away American Idol. I think that's what happened. Okay. I don't think it had anything to do with Gene Dill and all these people because they've been talking this stuff for years, Star. Right, right. For years, they've been talking about this yeah. stuff. But as soon as they put Michael Jackson death in that equation, okay. as soon as Candace Owens did it, that video is still up. Two days later, not even two days away. Was it two days later? Shit. They raided his house on both coasts. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, on both coasts. Yeah, so how about that? I, I like the way you think, you know, so uh, I'm not saying no to, to your, you know, theory. But did, did he's on the run. Do you, when do you think he's coming back to the States? He's down there in Antigua, uh, according to the tracking on the plane yes he was in miami pacing at the airport we know that but but he got the fuck up out of here what, what do you think his next stop is going to be well i tell you what now tell you what star now Take your time. stay with me for a minute Take your time. it, may, it may sound crazy come on, come on. it may it may sound crazy but i think trump to get out of all the stuff he was in you know, he played his Diddy card. And, hey, let me tell you something about these black guys. You can go get them. You don't even have to mess with me. And besides, then Candace Owen, who, by the way, is supporting Trump. Did, did she just tell you the thing that happened with Michael Jackson? So you're going to let an American a, iconic legend not rest in peace or you want me? So where he goes from here, I don't know. I don't know. Michael Jackson was worldwide. They already got that. Well, now, hang on a second, Janet. Um, you, you served how many years in the U.S. Navy? I forget. Well, so I want all these people knowing all my business. I served. I got an honorable discharge. That's okay. all they need to know. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I was just... <laughs> just um, yeah, that's all they need you, to know. You, you never saw any wartime, right? I'm just, I'm just asking. Um, you know what? I did, but... I have to. It's classified. I I can't talk. I can't talk about that. Okay. And not even today. You you know I I, you know I thank it. you for your service. Thank you if you had to kill whoever, however, from eight to eighty, blind, crippled, or crazy. Thank you. Uh, now let now, now let's, let's, right. let's let's go back here for a second. Diddy could go to Indonesia. 
he could he that's could, what yeah he yeah could go to yeah. um 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 uh, uh hold on a second uh algeria mm, he could no, go no cambodia no I'll, uh, and and these places hang on a second for those who don't know these places have no extradition right Right. right, but he hot right now, and Michael Jackson was big overseas in the Asian countries. So you got to eliminate any Asian country. You can't. He can't go to you. He can't go there. They made sure that he can't go nowhere. They playing chess, not checkers. Okay. That I'm telling you, Michael. Like when Candace Owens put that stuff out about Michael Jackson, right? Boom. That covers that. That covers a whole. That covers like the whole entire globe almost. Okay. You understand? Because he was beloved by everybody, right? Right, right? Then all of a sudden, Trump make this deal and everybody's okay. So I don't know what he went up near and, you know, because he know a lot, a lot, you know? So um, I don't know. It just sounds all too convenient because my whole thing is we all knew about Tupac killing. We all we, we knew about Kathy. We knew about Kim Porter. May she rest in peace. We knew all this stuff for years. And not one time, not even a Jehovah Witness knocked on his door. Not even a Jehovah Witness came and knocked on his door and asked him did he want to confess. I now, hear what you're saying, Janet, but now hang on. Do, do you think that Diddy may have allegedly, you know, touched someone from a different culture? I mean, I, I've been, uh, you know, yeah, but, alluding to a possible little, little uh, West Indian nigga, you know, frail, frail chest. Smooth back, yeah. smooth back. Yeah, but but they don't with soft feet. But now did did he did he touch a little white boy from Prague or somewhere? How did the how did fucking Homeland Security say, hey, whoa, we coming up in your shit? Huh? Because Homeland Security <laughs> deal with terrorists and they make sure the shores are safe. Now, <laughs> a terrorist threat or somebody committed a terrorist act. Killing Michael, uh, having something to do with Michael Jackson's death, if that is it, that's terrorist. That's okay. a terroristic um, threat to the United okay. States. Okay. I'm telling you, it may sound crazy, but it's far fetched because, it's like, if you look at, okay, like you you did, you broke the story with Ben Bada, right? He was touching everybody. Nobody cared. Allegedly, until he has been convicted. We don't know. Right. But right. As rumor says, he was rumor says this. OK, you can find it on any video. Anywhere. Well, it's more than rumors. People have actually done interviews with me um, and, and mm -hmm. most of them said that they were under age. So now that that's the story that I don't even want to go into that whole can of worms right now. But let's bring it back for a second. Let's bring it back to Diddy. Um, he's 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 not in the U.S. Do you think he's going to come back? to face charges or will he go to Vatican City, Angola, um, uh, uh, Vietnam? You know, he may have already transferred funds to other countries. What are you, your thoughts, Janet? Your experience, your knowledge, you, you've been in the Navy, you've traveled. What are your thoughts? The only, only two places I can see him going where he won't get in, won't get like, you know, too much sweat on him would be Ghana, because he got the money, and they're welcoming everybody in Ghana, Ghana or Australia. Because every place else, if you look at the if you look at the um, countries and territories as such, and you and you look at the movement of of the pop star, which was called Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. to some of them people, he was a god. And I'm telling you, they play in chess, not checkers. They put that out there for a reason. They put that out there for a reason. And then two days later, they come knocking on his door after all these years and all these accusations and all these court papers and all these lawsuits. Nobody ever knocked on his door. They knocked on three of his doors, Miami, New York, and California. That's J Jen, I have to jump in and with all due respect say no. Um... According to justice.gov, going back to uh, August 2020, the, uh, the U.S., pardon me, Ghana does have extradition to the U.S. Did he ain't go? Right. Did, did he ain't going to Ghana with them niggas over there? Fuck around and have to 
fight them niggas and shoot them niggas and still get deported. But go ahead and finish up, uh, Janet. Go ahead. No, but that's that's all I wanted to say. You have you having a good show tonight. Thank that's you, all man. I wanted to Thank say. You, and um, and night night. Night night, 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 night. Oh, blessings, blessings. What a blessings. What a blessings to Jenna, huh? Guys on the screen, more galore404.com. Stacy Galore, uh, got a lot coming to that platform. Stacy, are you out there? Was cracking, was shaking. Have you posted content yet? Stacy Galore. More galore404.com. Some type of bussy activity. Niggas with wigs, I would imagine, you know. Folks, we promote everybody here on the Star Report. <laughs> it's Stacy in the live chat. <laughs> Runaway slave, I got your donation. Hold on a second. Diddy went to the Caribbean to jump on his yacht and head to international waters. Yeah, yeah facts, facts. <laughs> <laughs> Relentless, Relentless Aaron got your donation. Hold on a second. Uh, the night Puff tried to kill me, my true story uh, memoir available now. Google to support. Okay, can you send me an email? Appreciate. Send me an email. Who are you, sir? Did Did he try to kill you? Did Did he Did he try and take? With all due respect, did he try and take something from you? Were you perched? And serving, were you? <laughs> oh, why would did he try and kill you, sir? Hang on a second. Let me put my email on the screen. <laughs> Was there any type of activity? Hold on a second that we should know about. Where is my email address? Hold on a second. <laughs> the nigga said, did he try to kill him? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Whew, shit. Troll babies, do I take a break or keep the show going? I'm, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk for two more hours. What are we doing? Okay, there's my email address, sir. Uh, you said, did he try to kill you? <sighs> Send me a link to that or some, maybe a couple of PDF files. Okay, you would love to discuss this. Do you want to call in now? Send me an email and say, yo, I'm on the line right now. Not trying to clown nobody, but were you, why, why did he try and kill you? Were you in some type of position where he, uh, you know, felt that you were vulnerable? Houston, where are you, nigga? Houston, let's go, man. Houston, are you calling in? Where's Houston? Let me see this Houston right here, man. We about, we about to turn this shit up another notch. Houston, 713, is that you, Houston? Houston. My nigga. Nigga, let's go. I thought I thought when my Mexican baby mama woke me up, goddamn it, and my wife woke me up, I'm like, damn, do I need to get up out of here? I'm like, damn, they talking about Diddy. I'm like, nigga, they got nigga. I thought that was your handiwork. Oh, no, no, they had no, the no, tanks no. out there. No, me, 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 me and Diddy's cool. We, we, you know, we're cooler than cool, man. I, I got no issue with Diddy, man. I think Fifty may be behind this. Fifty's a rat. It's a rat. Yeah, everybody knows 50 a rat, and then that nigga live right here, nigga. I got to keep an eye on that nigga. Yeah, the rat nigga. I'm talking about dogs. I'm not bullshitting. 50 lives out right here in Houston, nigga. I've been keeping an eye on that nigga. Yeah. I, I'm like, when I saw the Homeland Security outside the nigga house, I'm like, what the fuck did he do? You know? Like, damn. Yeah. That ain't just no regular. That ain't just no regular police outside your house, nigga. Them niggas out there with tanks and shit, nigga. I'm like, what? Now, hang on a second, Houston. Uh, he's uh, under investigation for sex trafficking. Do you think that he, you know, uh, uh, w w w was selling or anything with regards to, you know, young people? You think? Yeah, I think that because the way they, you know what this reminded me of? It reminded me of Waco. Mm. The day Koresh. Yeah. That's what they reminded me of. Waco, Texas. Come because on. you get where I'm going with this? Come on, nigga. Let's go. Let's go, nigga. Yeah, it reminded me of Waco when they ran up on that compound with Dave Koresh. I'm like, wow. 
Cause you don't have like it was so many people out there. They they forgot whoever was sent out there. I'm like they out there with tanks. They out there with they armed vehicles. I'm like that remind me of some occult type shit. You know what I'm talking about? With all due respect, uh, the David Koresh and his followers started getting it in with the police. You know, uh, Shaw. Sure. Let, let me let me choose my words carefully. King Combs didn't come out come at the goddamn uh come, come to the door with the fucking AR-15 and get the fucking cock, 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 he ain't doing none of that. But but look look this I knew I knew you were gonna say that. But look when the, when the dude said that he had guns and he was killing people. And he said he had dead murder, so that already put an idea in their head that he armed. And then the way that they're setting up this case is like he got a cult running in there. That's what I'm trying to say, if that makes sense. You, the you way- make a lot of sense, Houston, and that's why I enjoy talking to you. But, but now, hang on a second. Hang on a second. The, the, the investigation has to do with sex, sex trafficking. Let, let, let's, let's get focused now. Let's get focused. <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, I got you. Why do you think and then, Homeland Security ran down with warrants, seizing shit, and this nigga jumped, a, jumped on a goddamn jet? Where, where are we? <laughs> Let's speculate, nigga. No. Let's speculate. Oh, so respectfully, I think the nigga is going down for sex trafficking. I'm talking about when you said, and then as soon as he got there and get arrested, he worked in R. Kelly when they caught that nigga in Florida. We got there with a trailer full of sex tapes. I, they going to catch this nigga. They going to get him. He ran straight to the place where he loved going. Like, them people like that, they that ignorant. That that he went straight to the place where people were saying where they went. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, why would you? Man, they ran up in this nigga house while at the same time where they got Trump on camera talking about money. I'm talking about, dog, everything going down. And this nigga runs to Antigua, where they telling them where the shit at. Wow. And then he cut off his goddamn GPS on his plane. Nigga, the people on the plane telling them where they going to land, nigga. Where you going? Yeah. Where are you going, nigga? Niggas going live and all that goofy shit. Now, now hang on a second, Houston. Um, uh, Did you send me a new banner so I can promote your platform? People always ask, man, uh, did you send that new banner yet? Dog, I thought the shit went through the right way, nigga. I, I thought I had sent it the right way, nigga. I, I, nigga, I'm working with this new shit, dog. I told you I'd be high, and then I thought I was working with it. But don't worry about I, that. I'll get it to I, you. But I, 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 I didn't get the banner. Hold on a second. I hey, dog, what a, but dog, I think I need to, like, in the, in the, I email you just a bullshit email. Okay. I need to know the specs. I think right. the specs are fucked up on it. You know what I'm talking about? Houston, I think well, Houston this- with all due respect, can you do me a favor? Can you can you get a, a a pen or a crayon right now? Because we have this conversation all the time, my nigga. The the specs for the banner. <laughs> we did this all the time. It, it already. <laughs> twelve ninety width. <laughs> twelve ninety width by seven twenty height. Just okay. Twelve ninety width, seven twenty height. I, I fuck with you, man, but get me the new banner. So yeah, I know it, dog. I know it. I told you, dog. You know what? That's funny to the motherfucker because I said that to a motherfucker. And I'm like, I'm tripping. <laughs> Folks, give us a second. This is my nigga right here. Okay, Houston, give me that new banner, man. Or, 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 if you send me the pictures, I'll have Kurt make a banner for you. I fuck with you. I'll do that for you. Right. Okay, well, shit. I send you the pitch and goddamn, that'll probably be easy. Goddamn, that'd be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, dog. And then, dog. I think, I think Puffy. I, I, I don't think Puffy gonna see no jail time. I knew this nigga was gonna run, nigga. Every th- Puffy gonna do a Kurt Cobain and blow his brains out. That's that's what a real nigga would do. That's what a real nigga would do. Hey, dog. I think, I think he gonna do exactly what you said. A Kurt Cobain on him. Yeah. Just go, go to the, I'm surprised they didn't find him in the other house that they were looking at behind the house, the guest house. The fuck I look like going to a four by four cell. I've been living high up off the hog all my life down in the south of France, Nick, I, down in the south of France, biting into them little tomatoes with Leo Cohen and Mariah Carey. That number uh, one say eat real tomatoes. You say he was eating real now, tomatoes. The, the, the little tomatoes that they be eating him and uh, uh, Kevin Lyles down there in the south of France. <laughs> 
all that jiggy shit. <laughs> No, nah, that nigga said real tomatoes, not that shit that they get these niggas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure, dog, when I saw the story, I thought they were going to find him in the guest house like you talking about. Yeah. I thought they were going to find him like Kurt Cobain in the guest house, dog. Yeah. No bullshit. Cause you, you said- I don't want to go to jail, but I, I ain't scared to go. I'm out of here. Pow! He said, I got to go, man. I told you <laughs> this <laughs> The nigga said that he's scared to go, but nigga, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm out of here. Houston, I'll talk to you soon. Houston, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. All right, man, got you. That's my nigga right there, man. We are continuing the discussion. My nigga Diddy, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, Sean Combs. He's on the run, and rightfully so. Homeland Security ran down with search warrants. They're searching for things. I don't know exactly what they were searching for, to be honest with you. You know, whether it's information with regards to to uh, popping Tupac's top. But reports are saying sex trafficking, okay? Did um, Cassie tip the scale? Cassie, who got a settlement, who, you know, um, set off a, a landslide of lawsuits last year. Did Cassie give information that then led to what we have now? Other investigations. And, and what's, uh, Troll Babies, what's the producer's name? Is it Lil Dirk? Did he give information as well? There's an investigation going on right now. Um, let me go to area code 404. Are you there? Good evening. Who am I speaking to? You sent me an email about your book. Star, what's good? How are you, sir? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's cracking? I'm good. So, Star, I am the novelist, Relentless Aaron. Okay. Uh, we've spoken a number of times. I, but uh, my birth name is Gilmore. Okay. Uh, my father uh, opened up a club back in the day. In, in the, it started in Mount Vernon, okay. Gilmore's, and then moved to the Bronx, Gilmore's Fool's Paradise. I, yeah, I was very yeah. instrumental. I know that club. Well, yeah, I, I knew it me. back in the days. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's me. So okay. I helped my dad run it. Mm -hmm. I hired the DJs. I booked the stars, uh, like the Heather Hunters and the uh, Jeannie Peppers and the Angel Kellys and the Vanessa Del Rios. That oh, was me. Wow. wow. And I also, and I also had a, a cable show called Superstar USA that we aired uh, in two million homes in the tri-state area of New okay. York. I'm here in Atlanta now. Okay. Been here 15, 16 years. Okay. And quite frankly. This story has been sitting on my shoulders for years. It's been bugging me about what happened that night. Um, I, I, I started to write the book uh, in 2020, but um, uh, I just did the book cover. And then come these allegations, I said, you know what? This is the time. So I'm like, is you know, this book available or is it coming? Uh, I see. Yes, the, the yes, very it's, No, it's available now. The very I, I sent you a black enter. Okay, the very yeah, pretty you... female who's uh, she's holding it up. Um, the night Puff tried to kill me, uh, D. Gilmore. Yes, I sent you an article uh, that Black Enterprise did on me. I got and, it. Um, I got the book... it. Yeah. Okay. So the book is out. It's available. It's it's a memoir. It's not like uh, you know uh, any of my other novels. My novels are three hundred, even seven hundred pages. This is this is under a hundred pages. It's short and sweet. It tells my story, but then it brings it to a head. The night Puff tried to kill me. So here's the juice of it. Um, we, you know, I had a magazine called The Superstar back in the day. Okay. And we used to go co collecting money from the nightclubs and restaurants and beauty salons all, all in New York. And we used to drop off copies of the free magazine. And we, we worked our way from Mount Vernon, where I'm originally from. Nourishelle, and we worked our way through the Bronx and into Harlem and into Manhattan. So we get into Harlem. I'm at PJ's. The, uh, you probably know these clubs. Um, mm -hmm. But um, I'm at PJ's, and I met a guy that was um, uh, instrumental in setting up Death Row East. That's what he said. He wanted to set up Death Row East. I can't remember his name. It might be Ray something. Anyway, he gives out T-shirts to me and my crew. I had two, two guys with me. Um, that were with me that night, and um, the the shirt said Death Row East on it. Mm -hmm. So 
we, we, we moved down to a club called the um, Downtime. Red Alert was playing there. Mm. And, at, and at the time, you know, because of my relationships in the clubs, by the way, Steve Giuliano, Bentley's, he brought me in the game, taught me the game. Okay. I was like his, his, his road dog. Bentley's uh, Silver Shadow. With all due respect, sir, can you yes, sir. get us right? Okay, cut to the no, tape. Hang on, hang on. Get, okay, get bring us it. right to did did he grab you? Did he hit you? Did he okay. threaten you? Give us so, something here. So this is the juice of it. We're we're at downtime. Um, I go. I come out the club. It's a mob of people out there. I'm parked right across the street. We go into the uh, truck. And Diddy pulls up. He's not driving. He's in the passenger seat. Okay. So there's a cat in the, and he's in some sort of sports car. And they pull up to the window, uh, the back window. What's up? He says, what's up to the guy in the back? He, he says, told you to move that piece of shit out of the way. I'm pushing a fuck. Yeah, I, I felt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I, pushing a brand new Lexus. Get that shit out of the way or else. Something like that. Yeah, I felt like he wanted the space, but I there's something else. Um, so Sean and I go back. Andre Harrell introduced me to him, to me, me to him. Um, I I don't know if you remember. See, well, hang, hang on, a sir. I don't want to go into Andre Harrell and then you know Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I know all of those guys, uh, but, but hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on. So so Diddy said, get that shit out the way, or else. Ah! Did, did he get? No, out? actually, he I, didn't I, say. Did he get actually, out of the vehicle? What he said is, did he get out of the vehicle? Actually, he said, "What's up?" And actually, what he said was, "What's up, bitch?" Oh wow! That's what he said to okay. me. Um, now, did, to... hang on, and let's take it slow. I'm not rushing you. Did he get out of the vehicle? Or did he just bark at you? No. Yeah, he just barked at me. Okay. And, and you're from where, sir? Pardon my. Si you're from where? I'm from Mount Vernon originally. Mm, okay. Mount Vernon, New York. Money earning Mount Vernon. That's right. But so, so I said, why didn't you go over there and punch him in his mouth? He was a frail nigga back in those days. A little, little damn. Why you just get... to, to be honest, who the fuck you talking to? Why, why didn't you just do that? I, we're both frail, to be honest with you. Okay. But we're both in our vehicles. I Fair didn't enough. want no drama with him. And I told him, I said, yo, dude, I don't want no drama with you. Keep your drama over there. But he, what he said was, he said, nah, you a bitch. Mm. And so... And so I, I really wanted to tell you how we got to that point, but but we'll move forward. No, so, no, no, no. Stay, stay, let's stay here. This this is the this is the, the the meat on the bone. So he said, "You're a bitch." Did he say, "I'll come over there and fuck you"? Now, 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 mind you, he's right next to my jeep. Okay, and I looked over at Lance. Who who was sitting beside me? As I guess, so you didn't answer the question because I have seen, what, I have seen Diddy tell niggas, "I'll fuck you in your ass." He didn't say that to you. No, no, no. You so you you funny. No, I said to him, I said, "All right, if I'm a bitch, then pull over and show me I'm a bitch." Mm. So they pull the car back and they'll let me out of the space, mm. and we pull up. Now we're at downtime. We're at, we're closing in on Herald Square right now. And I turned the corner and saw, as God is my witness, I got out of my truck. Actually, his car jerked over and forced me onto the island. And I got out of my truck. There were, it wasn't just him, though. I thought it was just him in the sports car and his bodyguard. It was him in four other cars. Um, I, I, I didn't run to him. I got out of the car expecting to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. That's not what happened. What happened was a, a, a shot popped off oh. from his goons that a shot popped off from his goons that were with him. Right. Okay. And and Lance, who is my security, he said gun, and he he yelled gun. Gun. And and we and we jumped back into the truck. Okay. And now now it's a car chase. OK, now it's a car chase. We Hang on a second, sir. I'm just we we're talking. I'm, I'm going to promote your book. You sent in a donation. The book is called. Hold on. The Night Puff Tried to Kill Me by D. Gilmore. Now, now, hang on a second. You said you said to him, I don't want any drama. So you said. Yeah, that's initially what I said. Yeah, that's what you said. So why did you get out of the vehicle looking for a one on one fight? If you already said. I don't want any drama. I'm confused. I first said I didn't want any drama. Then he said, 
nah, you a bitch. And so, it, you know, I guess, you know, you're young. I'm, I'm 59 now, but, but you're young and, you, you know, you got these, these, um, these, you know, these raging hormones and I felt challenged. You were in your 20s then. And, you were in your 20s then, early 20s. Yes, I'm pro pro probably so. Um, Did he say the magic words? The magic words. What's that? Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Oh, no, no. Bitch ass nigga. No, no. Basically, like I said, no, he said, no, nah, you a bitch. And then that's when I said, you show me, show me I'm a bitch. And that's when I, I expected for us to have a fair one. To be honest with you, I expected us to have a fair one. I, that's a, that was stupid of me. And yes, I probably should have kept the whole, you know, uh, kumbaya, but, but I didn't. I felt challenged and I wanted to put him to the test. Um, but again, I didn't know he was gooned down, gooned up. And honestly, I, I would have got stomped out if, if I moved any closer to the situation. So anyway, I jumped back in my, my truck, Lance is back in the truck, and we pull off, and it's a car chase, quite honestly. We, we're, we're chased through Herald Square, the center of Herald Square. This is like 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, we, went, we, down, we went down a one way. We're, we're, you know, we're on two wheels, literally on two wheels, um, jockeying back and forth along the side. Hang on, sir. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. What, okay. ty what type of truck were you driving? I was in an Isuzu, Isuzu Trooper, the stick ship. Puff, uh, Puff a Daddy was chasing a nigga in a Isuzu Trooper at two, 2 o'clock in the morning. Right. He, right, about 1 or 2 in the morning. He had uh, a sports car. Some some sort of uh, uh, top down convertible, uh, and I really don't know about all the other vehicles that were behind. Stay with me. Me. But stay that, with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. So yeah. a nigga in a drop top, <laughs> a foreign vehicle, is chasing a, right. a bum ass a, a zoo. What was that a again? Zoo trooper. A zoo, <laughs> a zoo, zoo trooper. <laughs> I, hey, that's he that's, was chasing you. They were chasing you. That's what. That's right. <laughs> That's what it was. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> so, I mean, it, you know, I, I laugh at it now. Yeah. I laugh at it now, but the shit was real. In fact, um, I don't know if you know him, but Lance Calfe, who, Lance Calfe, who, who spots and works out with uh, Melly Mel to this day, he was in the, in the passenger seat. He's really more passionate about this than I am because he, he knows that our lives were at risk, how we went through... The, we went through down one ways and we went through a red light and the whole nine. It was, it was, um, it was a really tra tragic to be honest with you to be, it, I could have lost my life. We are uh, the lives of myself, Lance and Kurt and uh, Rico, who was in the back seat. Okay. So, you know, it, this, it, it's simple. It's not like, you know, I didn't work for him. We had, a, we had relate business relationship, um, uh, shit, Shit didn't go right. He knew who I was. I know who he was. We're from Mount Vernon, the whole nine. And and pretty much that's the story. But, you know, with this. No, no, sir. No, sir. Stay with me. I've got time. You sent in two donations. I'm here to promote your book. Yes. The night okay. Puff tried to kill me. And please send me a PDF file uh, when you get time so I can. you know. Oh, I'll send you the whole book. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now they didn't catch you in their foreign vehicle which is more than likely an eight cylinder vehicle they didn't catch you in in, in the bum ass azuzu you you maneuvered See, and got away <laughs> got that's right away. two o'clock in the morning i think a shot ripped back out and i think the last straw was when i ran through that red light and i left them behind they stopped at the red light after ripping a shot they then obeyed the law well, um, I, I ran the light. I, I, I lost them, to, to yeah, be honest with but you. But they stopped to yeah. obey the law after firing a shot. Pow! Right? That's exactly as it happened. Like, okay. facts. Like, every detail I gave you was facts. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. So, I'm, you know. I mean, it's you do, know, do, I, I get, I, I get the, do I get the entertainment. To, to no, be no, real. no, 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 no. So, so I'm, I'm just trying to understand this. So now, what makes you think that they wanted to fight and 
beat on you. I mean, did he back in those days with his hormones racing? Ooh. How do you know that they weren't trying to, you know, grab you, throw you down with all due respect, pull down your britches, and violate <laughs> you on some booty goon shit? Just, just to be honest with you, you know, with his wolves and the way he was rolling back in the day, um, it was, it was going to be bad for me. It was going to be bad okay. for me, to be honest with you. Just being real. I know gotcha. you're entertaining and everything like that, oh. but just being honest, uh, like I say, raging hormones, it's not him gotcha. that was the, the threat. It was all of his, 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 strap, his strap hangers, gotcha. you know? It was all of those cats that, that would do anything for him yeah. that I probably... I was afraid of. Hey, man, I appreciate your, your support. Uh, please send me the PDF so I can yeah. scan it more. Let's get you back on the line. Now, di did you file? Are you filing a lawsuit? Oh, hell no. I, I, don't, I don't want shit from him. I, um, you know, the, the worst that happened was the gunshot uh, hit my truck. And, um, mm. and Lance, Lance is really, Lance is really the one is traumatic about this situation. He's the one like, I'm, I'm, you know, this is sitting on my shoulders for years and I want to tell the story. And of course, it I sounds like you have a lawsuit, sir. I mean, truthfully, it sounds like you have been traumatized by this. It sounds like your, poten yeah. your potential I gross earnings have been, been jeopardized. Uh, you have a fear. <laughs> You have a fear of going uh, in, in clubs when you hear gunshots. This brings back a, a traumatic time in your life. It sounds like a bag to me. Well, there's just a little bit more here. Um, ahead, since my book came out, two people confronted me, two women. One woman who, who he barricaded in an office at Uptown. Her oh, name shit. is Angela Goudet. Okay. Now she wants me to write her memoir. Oh. And there's another woman named Ebene. Oh, sir, sir, can we not name drop? Because I don't know if these people necessarily are. Well, you know her. You know Ebene because. Sir, 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 sir I, I don't know anybody. No, no, sir, sir, I don't know anybody. No, I don't know anybody. Okay. But. Remember with J-Lo at Club New York and Shine? Well, well, I don't, Sean, I, I, I don't know these people. I mean, maybe their names have been referenced, but I don't know them. Personally, so I can't say that their stories. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Have merit. Well, of course, according to the newspaper, according to the news, okay. um, you know, you know, there was a there was a shooting at Club New York yeah, yeah. involving shot. Niggas get shot every day, sir. But but listen, listen. I'm gonna right. read your book when you send this to me. I appreciate okay. you and thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, let's talk again. You got it, Star. Thank Peace. you, sir. Thank you. The man, Spence Grill, I'm not trying to clown nobody. Just, you know, it could have been some late night booty goon activity. Yo, 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 ch chase that nigga in that Azuzu and hold that nigga down. Huh? I'm st here I am out here late night with a Coke dick. <laughs> Pardon me, that, that was wild. I'm out here with a Coke dick. This nigga looking sweet. <laughs> I'll get up in that nigga's butt cheeks. That's on everything. And I'm going to go, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh-huh. Uh, hang on a sec. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is this Frank? Frank? Yes. Yes. What's up? Fr 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 Frank, Frank, with all due respect, if you don't have $5, please don't ever come to this platform again. Please. Yes, sir. Let's get your bum ass out of here. Fuck, I look like taking a $3 phone call, nigga. The fuck do I look like taking a $3 phone call? Lex Diamonds, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Salute, fam. <laughs> Feeding any animals in the yard yet? Um, I, I'm, I'm on the beach now. Well, I was on the beach in Stone Harbor, but I'm really, really on the beach now in Emerald Island. It's not a lot. I mean, there's, 
I saw a squirrel or two, but I would have to like set up, you know, something to really bring them in. <coughs> um, I'll keep you posted. I do plan to do a little filming around here. Um, but thank you, Lex Diamonds. And I'm trying to go down to Myrtle Beach this weekend. I might do some filming down there as well, but thank you so much, all right? Okay, who is this? Uh, who, who are you? Something about uh, if you care to get insight on what Diddy can and cannot do with the... Uh, well, sir, if you, you can call in. Am I, are you on the line? I don't see you, sir. Thank you for your 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 email. I don't see you on the um 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 in the queue. Monster the animal. Another donation for the Bussy Chronicles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amen. I got your donation. French Montana used to be with Diddy Heavy. French is a good guy, man. Uh, guys, are we almost done here? What, what time is it? Okay, we're, we're coming up. Wow. So, so we hit three hours. Holy shit. Okay, we're, we're, I'm going to finish this up. Let me just make sure I'm promoting my sponsors. Nick Severe, where are you, man? Are you putting out new music? You've got credit with me. Nick Severe Music on YouTube. This guy has got some really, really good uh, music. It has like a, um, a a radio feel, which could be very, very um, catchy for those who are looking for, you know, tunes to add to your playlist. Please go there. Tell them I sent you. YouTube.com forward slash at Nick Severe Music. All right. Two oh one late night. The rise and fall of Sean P. Diddy Combs. That's our topic. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, hey, hey. How are you? The rise and fall of P. Diddy Combs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, sir, at the end of the day, it's bigger than Diddy. Mm. You know that, sir. Come on. They shoot. They came for the president's head. They still shooting at him. And you know, Diddy went against the machine. Okay. Remember, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he said, well, shoot, what are the Democrats doing for blacks? That was what, two years ago? I don't remember, sir. I'm not a Democrat. I, you came and he said something. And now all of this shit is turning. So we got to keep it real. This this is bigger than Diddy. If you want to go there, sir, let's have that real talk. Are you from the New York Tri State? Where are you calling from? Area code. Oh, 201. I, I'm calling. I, I, I'm 201. Um, okay. I was working over there in Jersey City. Okay. Uh, I'm LES. I'm uh, uh, South Bronx. Mm. And I currently, since 1992, been in uh, Columbus, Georgia. Okay. Which you just passed, Buena Vista Road. Right. Right. Now, hang on a second. You said L.E.S. For those who don't know, Lower East Side. Lower East yes, Side. sir. Okay, Jacob's yeah. Rib. OK. Avenue D. OK. So so hold on a second here. Do you think do you think that? OK, n never mind 50. Curtis, do you think Fat Joe pushed a button on Diddy? Fat Joe is getting into the political world. Yeah, I, now, I, hang on. Hang on. Sir, I let you speak. I, I, sir, I let you speak. Let me just put this on the table. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fat Joe is sat down with Kamala Harris. Fat Joe is a, a tax evader. He's a confirmed liar, you know. Uh, do you think that Fat Joe gave up information and, and we have what we have now? I mean, Diddy, Diddy had the whole vote or die campaign. Remember that? Vote or die. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I... Fat Joe comes out with a campaign slogan to help uh, Kamala Harris and 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 Sleepy Joe Joe Biden. 
I would say Fat Joe had something to do with the rise and fall of Diddy. You have the floor, sir. I just heard something um, today that Fat Joe said something about Diddy. Mm. Not being even Pacific, but it came through the wire. What do you got? What do you got? He said he said he wasn't there. He said he wasn't there. When he had the fraud case, you know, shoot. They were trying to hand out and he never stepped up and said, Hey, I got you. So with that all being said though, like I said, this is bigger. So are you from my generation? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Okay. Kill us. Eh, aquí. Uh, la 1251. Okay, so hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, do, you, do, you, <laughs> do you think that Fat Joe, who's making moves, <laughs> let's not get it fucked up. Money, Joe, money moves. Money, money moves. moves. Money moves. Do you think that Fat Joe told somebody something? You know, because he sat down with the vice president. He's down there fucking Capitol Hill. Suited down, do you think that he, you know, put some shit in the game? Obama did that shit. Yeah. Obama pulled the plug on him. Yeah. No, Fat Joe. Fat <laughs> Joe. And for Fat Joe to already, as you just said, denounce any wrong wrongdoing. <laughs> I said, I said, I heard something. I said, I, said, I heard something. Yeah. I got huh. And now I, I yeah. see you. <laughs> The DNC, yeah. Fat Joe's a liar and a nigger, sir. That's a fact. He's a liar and a nigger. I know that much, hell. He's a Puerto Rican, hell. You can't trust no Puerto Rican. That's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. Hey, man. I you can't trust it. no Puerto Rican. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, sir. Okay. Hey. Thank you, sir. Four babies did Fat Joe put some shit in the game sitting down. With Vice President Kamala Harris, huh? AOC is out of here. She she's going against the small hats. Is Fat Joe gonna run for the Senate? Oh my goodness, huh? They would they would all come out to support him. J Lo. <laughs> oh my God, Alex Rodriguez, Rosie Perez. Well, Crazy Legs couldn't come up because Crazy Legs, you know, he had that little situation sending sending around dick pics. But um, wow, <sighs> hold on a second. Uh, okay, who is this? You're gonna be my last caller. My last caller. Nine four zero. Sit tight. You're gonna be my last caller. Sit tight. Uh, guys, on the screen, check out Mr. Skyler Saunders, please. YouTube.com forward slash at Sky Saunders. Skyler is committed and he is working with the algorithms. He is learning. This is a good man. I support this man. Okay. And he has supported this machine. Please go there, subscribe, or just, just leave a comment. You know, he's got a great personality. Okay. This man was in the armed forces. Just go leave a comment. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, you are my last caller. Area code 940. Good evening. Who am I speaking to? Hey, Stars. Dave, how you doing? I'm good, man. What's cracking? Well, <clears throat> logistically, um, P. Diddy definitely got tipped off. And unless he's got $100 million on that jet, he's going to be uh, kind of stuck where he's at. I'm listening. You sent, basically, me, you sent me an email saying something. Uh, what did you say about the, you had some type of knowledge? 
What would you say? Oh, uh, yeah, 25 years in aviation, corporate and airline experience. Uh, okay. That, air, that aircraft can only go 6,500 nautical miles now. Okay. I don't know the extradition rules in South America, but basically he cannot – and all the uh, speculation about going west, he can't do it. Uh, he, he can't get anywhere uh, with that range uh, to a country like Indonesia. So most likely he'd have to go eastbound. The only thing I can see looking at distances would be him setting up something on maybe the West African coast. Oh, Jesus. Nigeria, but I don't know what their extradition laws are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But again, uh, these aircraft now are so sophisticated. We have what we, it's called ADSB in and out. And that's how you are allowed to track on flight aware mm-hmm. to where these aircrafts are going. Now, my guess is those pilots uh, have sworn allegiance to uh, P. Diddy. I sure, if I was flying for somebody like that, would understand that my mission may be different uh, at times. But uh, I just don't see how he's going to get out of uh, the, the Caribbean on a plane that only goes 6,500 nautical miles. He'd damn near need a spaceship at this point. Okay. Do you think he's on the run, sir, or did he just go to maybe drop off some some finances and then come back to face the music? Well, has anybody been around Diddy to see him? Does he normally pace in an airport? And what's the probability, it's exponential in my position, if you're dealing with math, that you just happen to leave the morning of three of your houses being raided? Right. The probability doesn't add up to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know the nature of it. I, I heard one of your uh, callers, I was at the gym, and all this was popping off, about some connection with Michael Jackson. I don't, what was the connection there? I, 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 no I, I have no idea. So pe- people call in, I let them speak as long as, you know, they, they, stick to their guns and stand on their square. I let them speak. I don't, I, I don't know. Well, I'm just coming from a, a technical standpoint. I got nothing to sell. I got no books, nothing like that. No disrespect to the last caller. Gotcha. I'm just giving you insight. Like, you know, in 2024, this ain't the 1960s where you could disappear into the, the jungles of South America. Right. I mean, right. it's going to be very hard. The only thing this guy could probably do is hop on a submarine to go eastbound. So maybe talk to the Russians. They'll probably take his money. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 